Hello, Samantha. How are you doing? Happy Sunday, friends. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. Welcome to the stream. My name is RX underscore Hydro, and today we are beginning a playthrough of vanilla Dark Souls 3, which I have beaten. But it's been years. My experience with Bloodborne, playing that a second time here, taught me that I've forgotten a lot about those games. That was close to feeling like a first playthrough to me. People seem to enjoy it. And I really remember way less about Dark Souls 3. There's always the possibility of being reminded things of things once I get in there, but off the top of my head, oh boy. I, I, I'll tell you what I remember about it in detail, but what I didn't remember to do before starting stream was um, prep some announcements in discords that stream was live. I was running behind on everything. Sorry, I'm a few minutes late. So give me one second to type these up. And then I will say hello to you. Uh. You know what? I usually do some kind of little joker bit. We are just going to say starting Dark Souls 3 right now. Because I've got three discords to put this into. And I can save us a little time if I don't try to think up some pun on the fucking one boss from Dark Souls 3 I remember. And save us all about... How long do I usually sit here thinking up an announcement I think is kind of clever. Two, three hours? It's not very long, but you know, it takes some time. All right, there we go. Notifications all set. Thanks for your patience, Samantha, and for looking up my nose while I did that. How are you all doing? How is it going? What is up, Mathis Khajiit, Polly, Brad, Keegan? Good to see all of you. What's up, Batadar? Hey, Grimace, how are you doing, Brad? What's up, Joel? Hey, d, &D Leviathans. What's up, Zachary, Sonny, Light of the Colossus, Christian, Project Gouther, or Gother. Please, if you prefer that pronounced one way or the other, I'll probably default to Gouther unless you tell me, but I'd be happy to try to remember the right way to say that. Cryos, Clayton, Petal Mouse, it's good to see you. What's up, Varnathem, Parker, Elliot, Evil Frosty, Deep Den Blue, Backlash, hi, just hi, Aloy, Sammy, Lollipop, and Pure. Uh, I hope you've all had a fantastic day. Mine's been pretty good. I've been sitting around lazily. I was going to go out and do errands, and I didn't because Rain was going to. S Happy to be listening to the stream during work. Gather, thank you so much for the five dollars. That is very generous, and I appreciate it. Uh, I'm glad to be here while you're working. I hope it helps pass the time and keep you cheerful. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Are we allowed to discuss lore, side quests, future bosses, etc.? Because you've already played it before or not because you want to experience it like the first time again. We unfortunately had better not. Um, I'll try to remain aware of pomegranates and questions that I actually want an answer to because my experience with Bloodborne taught me there are some things I'll half remember. And I'll probably ask aloud like, wait, this is the case, right? And... You know, if it's lower light or something, I may actually want an answer then. It, it, I'll try to note those times for myself and make it clear to you. But Make a monster. Brad, you're on the wrong site. Thank you so much for the 500 bits over on Twitch. That's very kind. I appreciate that. We will absolutely have a monster, I'm sure. I'm sure. A couple name ideas have already passed through my head, but we'll make that a discussion because you guys have come up with some excellent ones. I want to remain open to to influence. Yeah, let's um let's at least start out with pretty normal no spoilers rules, but they may be amended a little bit or you may find I'm asking more often for a refresher on something I half remember. <clears throat> Just watching your video so perfect timing. Thank you for watching the videos. Good to have you here. Back at it again. Hope y'all have a good night. Mine's going well. Love Dark Souls 3 started my soul's journey. I did them in order. In fact, I played Demon Souls before Dark Souls. I played Demon Souls when it came out, but I played it for like 10 hours, and it was the first of its kind I'd played, anything really quite like the specifics of the Souls genre. And so, I got almost nowhere. Like in 10 hours, I saw two bosses, Phalanx, and I can't remember the name of it, but the really big knight in the courtyard. I saw them. Oh no, I actually saw the spider as well. It may have been more than 10 hours. Point is, I saw three bosses, I think. Um, but I went, it was years after just going, I don't get this, and stopping playing Demon Souls before I played Dark Souls and finished it. So Dark Souls was sort of my first that I took it seriously. From Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, I remember liking 3 the best. 
That's what I remember. But we'll see. I happen to like Bloodborne, Sekiro, and Elden Ring all more than I remember liking 3, but I did like 3 a lot, so I'm still excited to be here playing this again. <clears throat> Funny you're starting DS3 while you're ending it, you're at the last boss, and god is it good. I'm glad you're enjoying, I'm looking forward to playing again. Good luck on the ending boss, GG on everything you defeated so far. You can do it on Twitter, but I doubt anyone reads those posts. Yeah, I've stopped posting on Twitter. In fact, um, I've been on and off about it because, you know, the, there are members of the community on Twitter who are cool. Uh, I hate Elon Musk, and I think whether or not you dislike Elon Musk as a person, I just think what he's doing to Twitter fucking sucks. <laughs> and so, just, just so everyone knows, if, if you follow me on Twitter, which I doubt because I've never been big there, but if you do, highly unlikely I'll ever post there again, at least not for a while. So, I haven't replaced it with anything. At the moment, all I can say is learn the schedule, watch the channels for updates, join the Discord. I'm so sorry if that doesn't fit you. That's the way it goes. Finally get to catch a stream, I love your shorts. Good to have you here, Backlash. I'm glad you enjoy the shorts, I hope you like the stream. Is this your first DS3 playthrough? I've never played it before, it is my second. Before we get to it, we're gonna do some game guessing stuff. Though not guess the game, because we finished that up. I, a few more have come out since we finished, but we're giving it time to build up a backlog. I have a different one to play. Between doing that and actually starting it, I'll talk a little bit about what I remember, but it is quite little. It's sort of like what a few of the bosses look like. Maybe how one of them fights. And they're things we won't reach for a while, because I'm pretty sure they're late in the game. Sending love from the UK, receiving love in the US, and sending it back. Good to see you, Sammy. Hi, hello. Hi, Hydro Mommy. What's up, Lollipop? Try for sub 1,000 deaths? I should have made a command to track deaths. Fuck. I'm not sh I mean, it's not going to reach 1,000. This just isn't the same length as Elden Ring, right? Should we track deaths? Think of it this way. Are you going to be disappointed we tracked deaths if it's like 108? You know, something impressive but realistic. I would be impressed myself if I did in 108. But you know, I'm not saying like, if I did it in eight deaths, would you be would you be disappointed in me or something? Because it's a possibility. Just be aware. Should we bother to track them knowing it's possible it won't be a, as flashy a number as a thousand? Can't prime sub here now, can I? True. It's funny you're starting DS3 and I'm ending DS3, uh, setting up a new fish tank while I watch the stream. This is sick. Super, I hope it goes fantastically well. Your fish love it. Love the streams. I love having you here. I'm glad you enjoy them. Perfect timing, just got done with work. Good to have you, Dan. How am I doing? I'm doing very well. I've had a fantastic weekend. I got way ahead on editing. I finished an Elden Ring highlights video yesterday and I'm quite pleased with how it came out. You can see it on my second channel, RX Hydro Highlights. There are more clips in there than show up in shorts because there are some things that just literally don't fit in a short. RX Hydro Highlights, I love that video. And yesterday evening, I rough cut 22 minutes of Tears of the Kingdom footage. The goal, especially as I have Tuesday off from work, is to do like Wednesday or Thursday, put out the first Tears of the Kingdom highlights video and have my next Elden Ring highlights video for next Saturday, as usual. So I haven't relaxed a lot, but I'm feeling really good about what I got done. And I relaxed today a bit. What's the name of the tutorial boss? The bro that turns into a snake monster. I have Gundir. I think Gundir. I need to skip ahead because I'm so far behind now. Eliza P. Soon can't wait to watch you play that. I'm pretty interested in that. Played them like a really world order. A weird world order. Weird order. Three, Bloodborne, one, Elden Ring, two, Demon Soul. That is a weird order. I mean, you kept after them. You must have been enjoying, but that's funny. I'm actually curious. Was it hard to go back to one and get much simpler weapon builds, Mark, after playing three in Bloodborne? Because two alone added so much to weaponry that I feel like I'd miss if I replayed one. Like what they did with the haptic feedback, think of the weapons are such a satisfying thunk when you hit someone with a big sword. DLC for three really elevates the main game. The DLC. Oh, I remember one of the DLC enemies. I remember Frida. She's one of my favorites. Will you play DLC? Yes. Track him, track it the same way. Do it, yes. We'd love some stats, would be fun to celebrate. I mean, I'll do my best to start keeping track today. But if we do this, I'll probably make it a bot command and you guys will have to, you know, exclamation point death when I die. 
Give us a Krillin owned count. Do you have any plans for your run? Magic Eye, Mercenary? No, actually, I want to ask you guys questions about that. I at least want to rule out if there's any builds that just don't fucking work with either the spells available or the bosses you fight or the equipment you can get in the game. But we'll talk about that when we get to character creation. I won't remember if you tell me now, so hold hold any advice on that. I'll I'll ask when I'm ready. We'll make the death count call it the Nameless King. I am worried about Nameless King. Binge the entire Ellen Ring series in two days. Thank you so much for watching. I take it you enjoyed it. I'm so glad. <laughs> Miracle only run, right? I've never done miracles in this game. It would be interesting. Number of deaths never seemed to be a huge important slash funny stat in your Bloodborne run. No, it wasn't so much. No. Ludex Gundir? Wait, that sounds familiar, but it's not Ludex. Is it? It's not Ludex. There's like two of him. A lot of bosses get reused, and he's one of them, right? I don't remember. All I remember is Gundir. Your first was uh, Scholar of the First Sin. That's also the only version of two I'd played. But I did play one before playing it, so... Scholar of the First Sin is uh, an interesting one to leap in on. Should I play DS2? I never got into it. Um... It goes on steep sales regularly, right? Fans of the series, I would absolutely recommend you try to. But if you're not feeling it after a few bosses and finding a weapon and working on it a bit, trying a few weapons or whatever, um, I wouldn't say force yourself to beat it. But it has a few bosses I like, a few vistas, like locations I love. Um, it's got horribly realistic spiders. Some of the only spiders in video games that legitimately bother me as an arachnophobe. I do not like its spiders. The boss is fine, but the little ones, no, no. I say little, they're pretty big. The non-boss ones. Um, beautiful vistas and stuff. My recollection is that I enjoyed everything I did to weapons. I had fun at a number of points, but a lot of times it's not that I disliked it, but a lot of the bosses and enemies were just big guys, big armored dudes. And I prefer monsters. And I remember feeling a bit let down by that. So yeah, for all those reasons, I'd recommend giving it a try. Just wait until it's on sale if you're worried you won't like it. And um, yeah, if, if you try it and don't like it, don't force yourself to finish it, because it's not a short game. Played 30 minutes of DS3 and only got through the first boss. Champion and and it's uh, Eudex, Eudex, Eudex. I don't know how to pronounce it, but yeah, it's I-U-D-E-X. I think Deep Den is right. That, that, yeah, and Colossus is on board. Right, 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 right. Hope you have a good weekend. Glad to catch a stream again. Thank you. I hope you have a wonderful weekend too, Jay Sizzle. Ba -ba -ba. Loved your Elden Ring playthrough, but I wasn't able to catch any on streams. So your highlights were awesome. I've got six more Elden Ring VODs coming soon. The highlight videos are nearly wrapping up. I think it will be... I keep saying two or three more. Two or three more. When they wrap up, the weekend that I'm posting, or, or the week that that Saturday I'm posting the final one, I'm going to have six days where on this channel, six more VODs of the six final streams. The other vo complete VODs I have are released. So there's more complete VODs. I wish I had the whole run, though. If there's more complete VODs coming. Spellblade with Int. I, I won't remember that after we guess games, but we'll see. Two is good, just don't play online. Soul Memory is just bad. Dark Souls 2 is 50% off in the Steam sale right now. Two's not the best, but it's still a good game. Yeah. Two, honestly, with a lot of the changes, stylistically, it's so much like other Dark Souls in important ways that you can tell it was made by From Software. But if you didn't have that title screen, there is a chance I think you'd be like, oh, someone saw Dark Souls and made this game because that that genre is getting really popular. But it's like a very good version of a ripoff. Yeah, it's something like that. The more I say about DS2, the further I'm going to get from actually capturing my opinion. Is the stream ending? No, we are just starting. In fact, let me warm up by playing our Guess the Game replacement game deal. We do this at the start of every stream. I love it. I hope you enjoy it. This is what we do now, because Guess the Game, our previous a Puzzle a Day game, we caught up with, and we need to give it some time to build up a backlog. We were doing three at a time, and there's only one new one every day. So this is Game Dull. We need to guess the game hidden behind this mosaic. We've been given the top corner. Each guess we get wrong or need to skip, we will get a little more. Our only extra rule is if you absolutely know the answer, do not say. If you're like 90% sure or less, go ahead, shout it out. But if you absolutely know it, just be very smug and go, 
I know this one. Everyone should know this one, but I definitely know this one. Just to give people a chance to guess, okay? Just to give people a chance to jump in. Started two and three, only played them for like 10 minutes each. They just didn't click with my brain. That's fair. That's fair. You just stream on YouTube, both YouTube and Twitch, both. Hello? Keegan, thank you so much for the $10. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's very generous. Thank you, Keegan. Um, I stream on both. Normal schedule, though this changes, you know, week to week if I'm a little busy or I find time for an extra stream. Normal schedule is here every Sunday, 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. That's about the time it is right now. So here, every Sunday. And on Twitch, at twitch.tv slash rx underscore hydro. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, same time, 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. How can anyone be 100% sure from this? We got a couple people saying DS3. It's, that would be amazing. Dark Souls 3 does have a yellow color scheme, doesn't it? Holy fucking shit. Well, this is the right day. <laughs> How perfect is that? Okay, we got two more, Samantha. This is the same style of game, but this is just artwork. This could be the banner art. This could be concept art. This could be any kind of artwork put out to design and promote a game. If this was random, this was hilarious. It was. <laughs> it was. Though I do know there is one other streamer that this website has specifically changed a puzzle for them to try to surprise them. Funny enough... It was because their community asked the site if they would do it. They got wind that the site had done it via Reddit or something before their stream that day. And the streamer was like, well, we just skip it today and didn't do it just because he was like, don't mess with them. I'm punishing you. But he didn't tell anyone that immediately. He was just like, I don't feel like playing it today and just moved on. RE4, we can watch trailer. What are the odds? I thought you started with this on purpose, to be honest. You have any good voice for, uh, do you know you have a good voice for Brazilian listeners? I did not know that, but thank you. I, never mind. Well, I was going to say, I know one word in Portuguese, but it's filthy, because I used to have a couple Portuguese viewers on Twitch who taught me to swear and curse. I only remember one of them. Good to have you here. Silent Hill, this is your first time playing DS3, it'll be my second. Everyone reminds me of the OG RE3 Mercenary screen. So we're getting a lot of Resident Evil and stuff. Um, is this a figure holding something over here? Let's try Resident Evil. The first one I saw was four. Let's throw out four. It's not RE4 and we have a rather fucked up arm now. Um, This looks like, yeah. Oh no, that's skin. That's not clothing on the rib cage. I thought it was like wet clothing really stuck to it, but look at how gray the underside of their arm is. I think that's all skin. And over here, we've still just got like a fucking hallway. Uncertain. Outlast, Resident Evil, Evil Within. Will this be saved as a VOD later? I gotta go to sleep, it absolutely will. Sonic Adventures. You know, that reminds me, well, you get a couple more guesses in. We currently have a vote out for what awful game I have to play until it takes a fucking year off of my life. There are four options. They are Rambo the video game. I've never even seen the movies. Jump King, never played it. Sure, many of you are familiar. Meme platformer that guaranteed cause frustration. The Ring Terror's Realm, an awful and apparently hilarious survival horror game from the Dreamcast. And Sonic 06, which I believe is widely considered the worst Sonic ever made. And if it's that, I looked it up. I can't, um, well, how do I say this? There are a few ways to play a game on the 360 or off of a 360. I can't play that in the off of a 360 way because it runs better than it runs on an actual 360. I've never owned a 360, so it's ahead right now. And if it wins, I currently have in my cart Fucking $200 of Xbox 360 refurbished and Sonic 06 for one stream. Anyway, Sonic reminded me of that. Go ahead and go vote. We'll be scheduling that 
Uh, that vote closes tomorrow at noon, and then I'll figure out a day we can do that, and we'll do a big chunky stream of it. So we've got a lot of people still saying Resident Evil. Do you think it's like Resident Evil 1? You just keep saying Resident Evil. I'm going to say, I mean, no, very few people gave numbers. I'm just going to say Resident Evil. It's not that. The other one we were all guessing was Outlast. Do we still think Outlast with the... What is this? Is that scissors? Yeah, that's like those Taylor's scissors, but like a giant pair. Where they sort of curve up away from your hand, I think. What the fuck is this? Hello? What is that? Guys, I think it's Roblox. This looks RE3, one of the Senua Sacrifice things. I've beaten Senua Sacrifice twice. I don't think this is Senua Sacrifice because that looks like a power line run across the uh, ceiling of this like bunker or cement hallway or something. I don't think this is Senua's. You've got to go fast. Outlast. Hot take time, Sonic 06 isn't too bad. There's actually two people in my Discord who are like, I'm looking forward to it because I like that game. But I'm not a Sonic fan to begin with. They can be fun, but we'll see. Still decent, Sonic Unleashed was worse. All right, don't tell anyone that wasn't here at this stream. Don't tell anyone. I have been thinking about getting Sonic Unleashed and or other Sonic games in the 360 and or other bad games in the 360 and just rattling through some of them at the end of that stream or the next day if it runs long or something. So I'm looking at it. Don't tell anyone. Gotta be a horror game. I agree with that. Clock Tower. Is this game cover or game art? It's game art. This could be like the banner they use on Steam. This could just be concept art or one they gave to outlets to use on articles and in ads. This is this is not necessarily the cover and it's probably not the cover. It's the doc from Outlast. All right, we got a lot of Outlast. I'll go ahead and put Outlast in. I've seen Outlast like once. I would never guess out. You're right. Is this the doc? Were you right about the character too? Why does he have this thing? Why does it curve back down? This looks like some fucked up crab's claw from something Cthulhuian. Anyway. Well done, Samantha. Now for the hardest one. Let's go ahead and start with Dark Souls 3, and you can see how this works, okay? I'm gonna type Dark Souls 3 in here. Okay. So, oh shit, I have to actually change the uh, capture for this. There we go. It is yellow here, which means some of these platforms are correct, but some are not and or some are missing. That is the hardest thing to figure out. Same with genres. The game we are looking for may be an RPG, it may be an adventure, or it may be one of these but not the other, or it may be one or both of these and more. Some of this is correct, but it's missing things or not all of them are. It's older than 2016. We are absolutely correct. It is single player, multiplayer, and co-op. Co-op means local always here on this game, I believe. It is these and nothing else. We don't have any data on the game engine. It's not Bandai Namco or FromSoft. It is a third person only game and it's not part of the Dark Souls saga. Get the idea? Try Bloodborne. It's not made by FromSoft and Bandai Namco. Did Bandai Namco publish Bloodborne? Sony published Bloodborne. Wait, but... I think the genres would be the same, right? Also, wouldn't its platform be... No, that is correct. I, I don't think it's Bloodborne. That weapon's for circumcisions. What a delight, I'm never playing Outlast. He cuts off your fingers. That's not that much better. God of War, Cuphead, Demon Souls, Woe Long, Sly Cooper. Woe Long's newer. We need something older than Dark Souls 3. Sly Cooper, Forza, Mortal Shell. Does Sly Cooper have multiplayer? I don't think it does. You gotta consider all the options here, Samantha. Also, we need something that has co-op. And I'm pretty sure when this site, Game Dole, says co-op, they mean local co-op. I think. Warframe, Remnant. Does Remnant have local? My brother and I played that in the same location. No. We each had our own device. 
We each had our own device. Also, Remnant's newer than Dark Souls 3, isn't it? It can't be Bloodborne, it's on Windows. It's not necessarily on Windows. This is one of the hardest ones to read. At least one of these is correct. Some of them may not be correct. They could all be correct, but we are also missing things. Some of them could be correct, some of them incorrect, and we're missing things. This is really fucking hard to read. <laughs> the, uh, the yellow one. Battlefront portal. Let's try Battlefront. Because that's old enough, it will give us... Let's try one. That'll give us like a... Yeah, so it's between 2004 and 2016. Um, oh, that had first person. If I thought about that, I might have been able to guess. It's not Battlefront, and it's newer than that. Mario Party, Fable is a good thought. You can try Fable. That does have co-op, right? Fable... Two? Because Fable 1 is going to be around the same time as Battlefront. Which... I don't know which game I, I'm worried about. Two? I'm going to try two. Alright, it's between 2008 and 2016. Assassin's Creed Black Flag. You know there's a rumor they're remaking that? Apparently, they feel it's time to start remaking Assassin's Creed games. They've only done remasters so far, I think. No actual remakes. And you might think, aren't they working on Skull and Bones? Why don't you finish your pirate game before you make a new pirate game? But I imagine a remake of Black Flag will still come out before Skull and Bones does. It's Skyrim. It can't be Skyrim. Skyrim has first person. Borderlands for show. Borderlands is first person. Neo 2? Neo 2's newer than Dark Souls 3. Isn't it? Neo 2's like... Actually, I don't know when Neo 2 is. I have no fucking idea. No clue. Dead Space 3. I'll try Dead Space 3. Dead Space 3. Yes. Ooh! We have the genres. It is a shooter adventure. Alright. It is a third person only. Shooter adventure. It does not have RPG mechanics. We're ruling that out. And it has single player, multiplayer, and co-op. We're getting closer. All right. It's also older than 2013. We have it down to a... It's 2009, 10, 11, or 12. We have it down to a four-year range. That doesn't help me a lot because I don't know years. I don't remember when things came out. Um... Yeah, RE5 and 6 is interesting. Samantha, which one would... Do they, which one or both... Do both of those come between 2008 and 2013? RE5 or RE6? Gears of War? Actually, RE5 and RE6. Um, I'm going to have to ignore the platforms right now. I don't know how to read that. Don't know how to read that necessarily. Gears of War 2, Gears of War 3. You know, it actually could be Gears of War. It doesn't necessarily need to be on PlayStation looking at this. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. I'll try 3. I'm just taking your guesses on numbers, Samantha, because I do not know the years of any of these. At all. 3 was on the 360 area? I'll take your word for it. Hmm... Oh shit, it's 2012. We have it down to exactly one year. And they don't call Gears of War an adventure, but Dead Space 3 is an adventure. What's the difference there? You, it's probably because you backtrack in Dead Space sometimes, but not in Gears of War. No clue. RE6 was 2012? I want to try RE6. I like that guess. Resident Evil. Six. Hell yeah! We did that with guesses remaining, too! This is a very hard game. Very hard. Not Resident Evil 6. Guessing the game on this. Anyway, that is Gamedl. G-A-M-E-D-L-E. -E. It looks like the URL is gamedl.wtf. Uh, that's a weird URL. You know what? Just Google it. You'll get it right. 
but there's a new puzzle here every day. One for each of those three categories. I feel warmed up, I feel ready, okay. Fantastic. Well fucking done, Samantha, and thank you for playing that with me. I love those guessing games at the start of stream. Let's go ahead and get to Dark Souls 3 then. I need to switch over here and start this up. And you need to tell me if it's way too loud or quiet or anything wrong. I did like no testing. It's capturing. Screen's going crazy. There we are. All right, go away, cursor. <clears throat> Okay, Dark Souls 3. This is my second time playing, but I will now list for you everything I remember about this game. I remember Sister Frida and her scythes and invisibility and the big dude that helps her during one phase, though I forget his name. Apart from that, I remember how Dancer looks, how the end boss looks, how Gale looks. Gundir, someone mentioned Gundir earlier. I remember the name Gundir. That is it. So that will help me out hugely. I expect a very smooth run. Jesus, it is fucking loud, isn't it? Dark Souls 3 has a lot of jump scares. Be prepared. Be prepared. Which class? We gotta talk about that. All right, seriously, was that too loud or was that fine? Do I just have my headphones up too high? Perfect sounding. Gale is dope. Please make your character look like Grimace. Do you have any idea what the delay time of chat is? Um, I don't have a solid idea, but it's like 20 to 30 seconds, I would guess. Closer to 20. It's around there. Right now, the audio looks good. Yeah, okay. We'll go with that, and I'll adjust it later if I need to. New game. I think that's good on both of our screens. Normal, Y-axis normal, camera speed 5. That might get turned up later, but we'll do that in game. Camera auto wall recovery? Is that with their... Oh, yeah. Configure cinematic effects. Sure. Yes, indeed. It is called Lothric, where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. Someone chose the frenzied flame ending. In venturing north, the pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. Sea turtles have it rough. I've gathered that from every nature documentary I've ever watched. But I don't know what they're doing in the desert. When the link of fire is threatened, what's loud? The bell tolls, unearthing the old lords of Cinder from their graves. Aldrich, saint of the deep. That's the one you're starting with? That's what you're gonna show me first to get me interested? A sea slug. Farron's undead legion, the abyss watches.
Only in truth? The Lords will abandon their thrones. Yeah, unkindled. That sounds like what I'm going to be. You know? Nameless, accursed, Hollowed, tarnished, unkindled. These are the things you get to be in FromSoft games. And so it is that Ash seeketh embers. Okay. So with what it said about, it wasn't too clear about the fire, but this is like almost, yeah, this is like the same plot as Dark Souls 1, isn't it? Where you can either renew the fire or let it die. We'll see that eventually, but that's, I think that's it. I'm trying to remember what the fire is. Anyway, the way they talked about it, the fire is some power to make lords. It's the Elden Ring of this game. And we need to go prove where the embers it should catch against. All right. Have you ever killed Artorius? I have no idea. Wait, uh, is that the DLC guy from 1? These intros always go so hard. This is Hyder's second time. True. New series like your Elden Ring first playthrough and Rando VODs. I'm glad you do. Yes, we are starting DS3 today. It's my second playthrough. I have forgotten all but what a handful of the bosses look like. Um, it should be a good time. I did this with Bloodborne and it surprised me how much I enjoyed it and people seem to like watching. Fun fact, Yorm was the tutorial boss. This is why Gundir had a big cough in his arena. What ending did you get in your last playthrough? In the Elden Ring playthrough? Um, let's just say it's appropriate we're playing this now. The city looks much the way I left the world of um, Elden Ring. The lands between at the end of it. Have you heard of this guy called the God Emperor? I only read the first Dune book. There's one side quest for which you have to have at least 10 int, just as a side note for picking your class. Okay, that's good to note. Yeah, so first question, Samantha, is we'll name our character after we know the other details, because I feel like the name comes last. You know, we need to we need to know who they are first. Um, Are there any sort of overarching builds that are just almost no-goes, like significantly weaker or given worse armor and like like spells and shit is there anything to avoid also also one second i need to change this thing how did you get on the wrong tab there we go we're good we're good go away mouse deprived grimace please deprived deprived hot deli's ancestor cold sandwiches grimace magic deprived dark souls 3 Magic build. Okay, you're talking about what to be, but I take it there's nothing you can't be. You can be deprived, that's fine. I assume that's the, yeah, the real shit build. It's always interesting how some stats go lower in other builds. In fact, is this even the lowest level? Oh, it is. Interesting. Huh, okay. We can be deprived, though. I'll deal with it. Naked and of unknown origin, either an unfathomable fool in life or was stripped of possessions upon burial. Naked. Unfathomable fool in life. Why do you always want me to play these characters? Mercenary bro, mercenary, critical. Well, deprived we can make whatever we want, and it gives us the baseline 10 in. Mage takes a while to build up, any magic builds uh, do here. Deprived is really good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Balanced luck builds. Miracles are weaker. Pure caster. But everyone else is saying magic is real shit. <laughs> Pure customization. You still have a loincloth. At least we have that and our boards and stick. Now right, let's pick a look. Commoner, Northern Warrior, Astora Noble. Dragon Academy student, Karim Novice. Is there any um lore in here? No, like it doesn't tell me what the Dragon Academy is like. Karim Novice, Katarina Merrymaker, Serpentine Traveler, Great Swamp Outcast. 
Londor Shadow of Death. Holy shit, Erythelion. The features of the old gods, as if from legend, they say children born like this are fated to be taken to the Boreal Valley. <laughs> I don't want this to be one of the earliest jokes in this playthrough, but my immediate reaction was, I think that's a tale their parents tell after smothering them in their sleep, because look at this monster. They know it's not going to live past, like, ten. Let's all pretend I didn't say that now, though. I like the idea of a merrymaker. The large eyes and mouth give this, like, we already played one wretched, wretched, fucking wretched wretch. Why couldn't we play someone who's, yeah, they're deprived, they're poor, they've lived on the streets their whole life, they've just got a loincloth, slab of wood, and stick to their name, but they're loving life. Orange, the greatest sorcerer. The large eyes and mouth give this face a look of jubilation from Katarina, known for its zest for life and love of drink. Build. Um... We did sort of burly lower body in a way last time. How much, how much is this all the, uh... Control, I get over it. Oh no, we can do physique. Musculature, oh. Hang on. Build detail, ah. Chest, abdomen, arms, leg, oh. Maybe this isn't as much control as I thought. How do I go? Change by 10. Abdomen, tiny. Oh, you all affect each other, don't you? You all affect each other. I wanted to make them insanely top-heavy. They sort of get pulled around by each other. Okay. That's not worth worrying too much about then, sadly. Is that standard musculature? Hang on, I'm just developing body dysmorphia. Dysmorphia. I don't feel good. Standard? What a wide boy. It looks like a roofer that has a side gig as a protester. Make him tinker. Skip leg day. Hit with stick. Make him a sphere for better rolls. I would love to, but we're at the largest of everything except for head. Let's just be the largest. Let's just be the largest. We're big. We're poor. We're mostly naked and we have a good time. And we don't know how to save our... Good. Done. Saved. Not standard on me. I'm chubby. Same. I, I, I certainly don't have that kind of definition. Age. Young. Young and merrymaking. But do they have an old soul of a voice? <laughs> Jesus. What the fuck was that Wilhelm scream? <laughs> <laughs> well, we need to compare those falling screams for all of them, okay? No, Mature just doesn't have it. It's that one. It's definitely that one. Base skin color. Well, when we chose, uh, what was it, Katarina Merrymaker, we were given this zesty orange of a human being, but we need to be even more of a Merrymaker than the average Katarina. If orange is what marks the party animal, the party animal shall be marked. Oh, there we go. That took the edge off just a little bit. Do I need a little more? There we are. Look at how deep that orange is in the shadow, but still there's highlights and contrast. Why am I talking about this person like they're acceptable? Perfect. Young doesn't seem very young to me. None of them seem like a particular age to me, necessarily. You want two accounts, Grimace? Or did you and a friend both spamming purple and Grimace over and over again? All right, now for, fuck, I didn't save it. 
Sorry, I suck with menus. Was it there? Was it a little higher? There we are. It was like this. Good. Good, good, good. Face detail. Similar face. Similar face. Similar. Oh, it makes me a lot over here. Features. Again, they said Katarina was known for its large mouth. And we need to be the most Katarina and Katarina there is. It looks wider when it's flattened down like that. Can I make it smile, though? Mouth slant. That's down. That's as close as anyone ever gets to a smile in Dark Souls worlds. All right, bud. You gotta calm the fuck down. There we are. I apologize, but we are going to be a Katarina Merrymaker. We have the... Uh, Basic features chosen. God, I wish I could do even more of that. What is protrusion? Got it. No, 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 no. It looked better on the way out. Mouth slant, we did that one. Occlusion, what are you doing here? Oh, that's like tilt. Nah. Jutting bottom jaw. That projects a certain confidence and readiness to party. Mouth chin distance. I like him. This is going well. Chin, chin tip position, front back. Oh, front. That moves the lip too? All right, we got to balance that one a little bit. Chin length, long. Chin protrusion, large. Chin depth, deep. Oh, that's fucking with the lips too. That's fucking with a smile as well. That's pretty good. Chin size, large. Have you ever seen someone who was like the greatest partier that you ever met who didn't have a chin like that? Chin height, high? No, low. Chin width, wide. At a certain point, it feels like we're gilding the lily. But pointy isn't right either, so we continue on the edges of the uh, sliders. At a certain point. Jaw. How is this different from what I... Okay. <laughs> I love it. Actually, what if then, yeah, his face wasn't as so wide in the back? Because we're just going to get Kratos if the entire jaw is completely overdone. And Kratos is not the look we're going for. Really? You know? Not really. I can't tell what this is doing. Oh, is it a width of part of the uh, other? I, I don't know which it is, but it's. I think it's the width of another piece of the jaw. And this is the contour. Oh, that is upsetting. No, 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 no. Give me back some of that. A nice curve to it. There we are. You know, this is how you develop... This is how you develop a character. <laughs> Never mind what I was going to say. I can't think of the right words. But basically, I was going to be like, you start with one insane feature, and then you make the rest fit around it somewhat. Good. They were sort of fine where they were. Can't tell what that's changing, so that's fine. We'll leave that. Brow Ridge might be an important one. We almost need to figure out their hair before we care about Brow Ridge, but I'm already in this menu, so... Yeah, God only knows what this is doing. Oh, I can make them happy! Just pleased at all times. Definitely a cross between a human and a carrot. Oh no, he's quite difficult to look at. We'll get him armor, eventually. He looks so happy. <laughs> this is what it takes to be happy in a FromSoft game. You gotta start in the character creator or you're not gonna get there. 
Where are the eyes? Can I make the eyes happy too? They should rotate a little bit. A little bit. It's not quite right. Man, I can't make the eye slant looks like it makes them go like this. I can't make them tilt upward a little bit, which is what I was looking for. In around there. But the eye spacing can be more now. Here we are. Because it's not about his eyes being pinched necessarily. They are a bit, but not enough to distract you from the jaw. And that sweet, sweet smile. And actually, I think the eyes need to be lower down to exaggerate. What is happening to your eyelids when I do that? That's not correct. That's weird. I can't get back to where I was. I think I fucked them up enough. Those are his eyes now. You're gonna have a hard time finding a fitting helmet. We're not gonna get any that closes around the front. Midnight here, I have work in six hours, and I'm watching this monstrosity being born. Good to have you. Their forehead, I just... They're, I almost kind of like it being nearly flat, but it's a bit weird. Bridge height, no. Bridge... It's not bridge that I need to change. It's literally just, yeah, their brow ridge. But this is height. How do I change the depth of their brow ridge? I think we're good. Let's find a hairstyle for them. Bro's making the crimson chin. They won't even need an, uh, an outfit. Won't even need a costume. Hair. Oh, please try and fit a beard to this. I would love that. <laughs> Look at how stretched out the texture is right here. <laughs> Delightful. Just delightful. Alright. I I fell in love with him here, but I am also kinda digging. Kinda digging this. Kinda digging this. Yeah, I almost like the, the thinner one. Like, he just started growing it last week, and he's really optimistic about how it's going to turn out. More than I like the one that's scraggly but established. You know? The third Kipper kid? Watching this carrot of a man being created on the TV is truly a joy. Green hair, please. Oh, we had green hair on... I mean, I'll take a... I'll just be a lemming! <laughs> He's so confident in this mustache. Just give it like two more days and it's going to be right there. Um, beard color and hair color. Let's, I need to do hair style first. Do, 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 do. Oh, I fucking, I hate this hairstyle in every FromSoft game they've had it. And I feel like it's used pretty often. I feel like I've seen it a lot in like people's screenshots and videos. Do people like this hairstyle? Is it just me? The thin mustache is great, not gonna lie. He wouldn't want you to lie, and he's sure it's great too. <laughs> but we started with... No, he... Yeah. We're not doing the molding sky again. He can't look like he's actually taking care of his hair. He feels too good all rough, fan of fantasy. 15. He feels too good about every life already. He wouldn't spend extra time worrying about his hair. He wouldn't fuss. This looks like it was cut with a whole, like, vacuum suck thing. Everything's just the same length. Sinestro? Oh, shit! You're not entirely wrong. Walked away for a minute, came back to a Disney villain of a character. Asmund Gold used it. This man's the final boss. Door-to-door -door vacuum salesman. Ah, uh, alright. I gotta make a choice here. None of them jump out to me. This one's fun and meme-y. I don't think it's a bad thing. I kind of like this one. This... Alright, the honest truth is, I actually like this best. But I don't... 
love it immediately, and it feels a little bit basic. But it is so fucking low effort. It looks like he shaved his entire head with clippers using one length of guard, and that was four months ago. That's what it looks like, and that suits him. Looks like the bad guy from Bioshock, Andrew Ryan? Really? Can't even speak like that. I'm not built that way. Uh, now we can do hair color and whatever. Hair color. Where's your greens? Someone wanted to see green. It is a lemming. I don't think we're going to do green. It's not bad, but we've just done it recently. Can I match your hair exactly to your skin? What is your skin color? Um, that's a whole other thing. Face skin color. 255, 117, 71. Two fifty five, one seventeen, seventy one. Does that look the same on here? No, it doesn't look at all alike. That's awful. I can't get it like red enough at the same level of brightness. Damn, man. I'll admit I was going to be worried about his mustache because that could disappear entirely, but I really wanted to see what he looked like with exactly the same color of hair. We got to give that up, though. If I do these two all the way up, changing green, just experimenting with the color theory. Both changes the brightness and the saturation. And I can get some saturation back by lowering these, but not a lot. That also loses brightness. Fuck. Never had to picture what color hair to put on an orange character before. It's troublesome. How do you make, um... Should be like... No, that's not right. How do you... How do you even make yellow? Isn't yellow... With RGB, how do you make yellow? Try blue. Blue is okay. Blue is so far my fallback, and I do need to make a choice soon, but... How the fuck do you make... You know what? They've made it here. And none of them show up as, like... Dirty blonde. They don't even look blonde. I don't think yellow's gonna work. It's my first Dark Souls 3 playthrough. This is my second. But I've forgotten a great deal. And we'll see how that goes. Red plus green. Really? Should be yellow? Oh my god. You're right. It's greenish tinted, but... Okay, interesting. Okay, basically I just can't get like a brilliant yellow. Let's go ahead and do blue. I had a blue in there for a little while I liked. Let's go ahead and do a nice blue. What color was that? 135, 135, 255. Except his mustache has grown in jet fucking black. He doesn't know why? He's not worried about it. Good. 255, 255, zero. That's not blue. Oh, zero for blue. I, the way I read that, I thought you were saying to make blue, 255, 255, zero. And I was going to be like, you fucking liar. Then I realized it was 255 for red. Two Fuck me. Okay. Eyelashes. Um, I kind of like the ones he has right now. It's fine. They're good. They're good enough. Beard, brow color. Brow color can be the same as... That, like, blue I have or close to it. Only the mustache really needs to be different. And everyone wonders if he just glued it on. Happy lad he is. Smash? No kink shaming, but... Okay. 
RGB adds light rather than pigment, so 100% of all colors is white. Yeah, I'm good at like um, red, yellow, blue. I'm bad at RGB. Green throws me off completely. Um, 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 um. Name idea, the rotting dirt. I want to do a simpler name idea. I want like, I'm thinking just like one or two words. So it's slightly punchy. Um, I would love to hear suggestions. For some reason all day in my head, what was floating around was burger dollar. The only reason was because dollar burger sounds like a restaurant, but burger dollar sounds like you'd see just one shitty old bill in someone's like glove box in their car. And you'd be like, why do you have just a dollar in there? And he's like, oh, that's the burger dollar. In case I'm ever in trouble, I've got a dollar left to get a burger. I don't know. I know that's not a good explanation, but that's literally why it was in my head. Just to give you an example of the, the route I'm on. Would that chin do? No weapons, chin only run. I don't think the game properly accounts for the power of this chin, so... Name him Bubo? Like the bubonic plague? Bubo? Is that Latin for, like, eye or something? Something round? Pudding skin? Looks like Cartman's mustache. Maybe not depraved. Uh, McDonald's Sprite. Johnny Party Seed. So far I'm liking Pudding Skin and Johnny Party Seed. Bob, the Tot, the Butler. Astora Sunrise, the Killa Sunrise. Chinchilla. Orange the V. I'm back, welcome back. What did I walk into? Don't worry about it. Cornelius Dinglebottom the Third Jr. John Burger Dollar. Spend your Burger Dollar down at the Hot Deli. Um... I think I like Johnny Party Seed. But we all need to remember that the canon lore for the character is he tells everyone his name is Johnny Party Seed. He thinks of himself as Johnny Party Seed. His government name is Pudding Skin. I think we spent enough on this character. There's a lot of other things I could do, but I spent long enough deciding on this stuff. All right, we good? We good, we good, we good? I think so. I back out and keep all my stuff? Excellent. Excellent. Mr. Rotundo. Chin's biggin. <laughs> Chin's biggin's pretty strong, too. Johnny Party Seed. Good shit. Male. Young. Deprived. Burial gift. Life ring. Ring set with a raises max HP. Warm, blessed, holy water, fully restores HP and cures ailments. Hidden blessing, fully recover, restores FP. Black flame, what's the difference between these two? Oh, I see. Gotcha. Black firebomb, an uncouth gift for the departed. Fire gem, used to upgrade fire weapons. All right. Sovereignless soul. Okay. Rusted gold coin, greatly increases item discovery for a short while. Cracked red eye orb. We're probably not going to do a lot of invading. <laughs> Young white branch can be used to blend into environment, but only once. All right. Um. Hmm. He looks very rectangular. Why, thank you. Linkoff looks so dark against him. Why, thank you. This is 100% the third list Chuckle Brother. I've seen a picture of the Chuckle Brothers. I get that a bit. Let's go ahead and give him a black firebomb, because the person who buried him with it meant to light it and forgot. Because look at this thing. Great! Party animal! We good on everything? I think we're good on everything. Finalized creation. Life ring? That may be the best option, but... When have I ever chosen Vigor in previous playthroughs? Yeah! Wake and bake, it's party time! Johnny Party Seed is here! Sometimes Johnny Party sees a little slow when he gets up in the morning. Or the afternoon. Whenever. Whenever. 
One second, I think I do want to turn the volumes down. One tick each. No, it seems to... I'm never sure, man. We'll do that. Let me know if it gets if it's too quiet as we go along. Art control camera. I know that. It's definitely too quiet. If you didn't see me start any of my playthroughs of other games, I am so sorry, but this is how the first couple streams go. Because audio is the worst part of doing anything. First time on DS3, this is my second, but I only remember what a couple of the bosses look like. I may remember more as we go, we'll have to see, but kind of doubt I will. Hey, bud. Hang on. Had to see that in action. Jesus fucking Christ, that was really loud. God damn. Why in the fuck was that smash attack so insane? Seems like better volume. Blast the music, OST and through DS3 is goaded. Soul of a deserted corpse. Starting off in a very cheery location. Just like every other FromSoft game. Don't forget to read the manual. I don't think I have it. Was your first Souls game, Demon Souls, though I didn't get very far in it. The first one I committed time to and actually really like learned and ended up beating was Dark Souls 1. Ashen Estus Flask. There's my Black Fire Bomb. Five of them! They really wanted me not to get back up. Guard. Oh hey. You can uh really run while guarding. I think I'll just be what it is. Backstab audio is just always really fucking loud. Hello? How do I run? Oh shit, there's another one. Hang on! How do I run? Found it. That did fucking nothing! Was I buried with fucking store brand Juicy Juice? Wrong button. Oh my god, I forgot how little healing those do at the start. What are the rules of the stream about spoilers or trolls and hints? Turn back. Turn back? No. No spoilers or hints. Uh, I do have a habit of asking questions aloud just when I'm talking to myself. So we have a safe word. When you hear me say pomegranates, that means... I actually do want an answer to my next question. Otherwise, I may just be talking aloud. Oh, hello. I do remember the crystal lizards. I don't remember them being that big. Jesus. So, to get that pomegranate out of the way, um... Samantha, what's your birthday? And what do you want for your birthday? What kind of build are you going for? Undecided. Let's get this armor uh, item, rather. Before we maybe die of this. Good. Oh, holy crap. Okay. Holy crap. Good thing I got firebombs. I thought that was the breath. I was waiting for the breath. That did fuck all. Why do I lose targeting? Is that how easily you lose targeting in this? Oh my god it is. Is that an option? Because that's awful. Get the big one in. I didn't really do that much more.
We're nearing halfway, but like I can't heal. This is Every one of these games starts with a tutorial sort of boss or big enemy that you're basically supposed to die to. And I'm quite sure that wasn't it. We go again. Twice again in June, I just turned 18. Congratulations. You can enter radio contest now. I took this little, um, art class in high school my senior year. Or my junior year, other people's... whatever. It's a bunch of juniors and seniors. A bunch. I'm telling the story all wrong. I took this art course very few people signed up for. There were basically just five of us. And the teacher was really cool. So essentially, we just hung out and chatted while doing our art every day. And one person had their 18th birthday coming up and everyone was talking about like, you can fucking get tattoos, you can fucking smoke if you want to. And then one person who was just a little more pure than everyone else in the class, they just always were, it's just who they were, really excitedly was like, you can enter radio contests. It was one of those moments where everyone stopped, but no one made fun of her, we all just went, yeah, yes you can, that's true. Good job, Emily, or whatever her name was. Kick. Kick. What? What was the name of that quiz website again? Gamedle. G-A-M-E-D-L-E. -E. That doesn't work. L plus RB kick. Maybe we don't have that much flexibility. We partied a bit too hard last night. Just rolling and swinging this weapon's taking it out of us. Cool. That's sweet, that's adorable. You can't enter radio contests as a kid? Uh, at least in the US, I believe not. I don't know if that's law, or if it just complicates some of the laws around contests, so like, Radio stations and companies and things just choose. By the way, if you- Hey, there we are. Sight of bonfire. Grace of... Light the bonfire. They just choose to rule out anyone under 18. When I turned 18, my friend was like, Bro, you're 18, you can be a porn star now. But they were telling you how attractive you were. That's supportive of them. How effective is rushing? Pretty good. It's pretty good. While dashing. Oh yeah, jumping is always shit in older games. Okay. Well, I don't think there's much of it. I don't think there's a lot. Did you finish Wo Long? I did. At some point I even mean to make highlight videos from it, because I've got two out so far. But I have a couple other things I might prioritize over it. I saw you earlier. Where am I trying to go, anyway? Probably over there. And I have the path right here, so what is this? Just a place to jump down. Oh, hi! What the hell? Samantha, those are snow-covered peaks. I'm looking at, like, Everest and K2. And I'm looking down on them. We should get a coat. But we should just have a few. Can't feel the cold once you've got a few in you, right? Am I right? These guys know I'm right. Party animals. Look at them. They're in dresses. Actually, do you just dress that way? It's totally cool if you do. I am supportive. Or is that for a party? And yeah, that guy's dead. Let's go find some more party animals. Johnny party seat is at it again. Oh god, Dark Souls jumping. When I turned 18, they told me I can stop lying about my age when I sign up for anything. Is this a dead end over here? Worst enemy in all of Souls games. Um... Oh shit, I'm sure I have an answer. But it's hard for me to think of right now. You wanted me to jump from up there for that. Plunging attack. You give me a target? You did. Pretty good.
Oh, there's Gundir we were talking about earlier. I'd forgotten he was the sort of tutorial thing, right? I'd forgotten... Yeah, I'd forgotten Gundir was like the tutorial starter boss. Okay, I've already seen the rest of these paths. Play Demon Souls or are you planning to? Yes! I've beaten it. I like that game. If this guy doesn't know how to brew, I would be shocked. He knows how to brew, most definitely. But not with, like, actual brewing equipment. He knows how to do it with, like, pots and pans and, like, someone's notebook and a bunch of tape. Hey, bud. Seem to have something in you there. I think it's a typhon from Prey. Anyway, good luck with that. I'm gonna walk over here, totally oblivious. Oh, that's weird. It doesn't open up. Do I have to interact with him? <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought he'd trigger when I went over to the other thing. They don't even let me keep it. <laughs> I have a stick. They don't even let me keep that spirally sword. Fuck. Fuck. Do I have any abilities or anything? Hi. How do you feel about fire bombs? Did I just miss? These were my gift. Early! You're so much slower than I think. That hit. I keep ending up so far from him when I roll. Oh, uh, what's happening? Ew! Okay. I'm rolling, man. I'm hitting it. I promise you I am. Where's the edge? Shit! Big one. Oh, I thought he was being stumbled for a second. That was not it at all. That is... No, wait! Oh. Dude, I thought for a second I'd been cheated out of a cinematic ending. Then I just wanted to live. <laughs> Betting only one death, I say five. You're rolling five meters? Is it because of how big and girthy I am? Boy, got girthy. You can do it. One try. And a coiled sword. What is that? That did not look like a weapon. It's not. Um, what's a coiled sword? What's this? Restore the link to other worlds. Oh. Okay. Those who engage in unjust deeds when in contact with other worlds will lose their connection to them. Is that about being banned or is that plot? Banish visiting phantom, lose souls, return to bonfire. Okay. There. Thrust in shrine bonfire to activate bonfire warp. Sword missing from the shrine bonfire cannot be equipped as a weapon. Thrust into the shrine bonfire to restore its power and enable travel between bonfires. This sword is only bequeathed to chosen ash, as judged by the Eudex, who awaits the arrival of ash as a scabbard. Whoop whoop, nicely done, thank you. Dang, I bet wrong. Could have happened to anyone. It's just the power of party. You ever played Dark Souls 2? I have. I have beaten Dark Souls 2 like one and a half times. I think I started a second playthrough and didn't get really far in it. But I beat it at least once. Broken straight sword. That is a weapon. 
It's worse than our club. Sure. Well, hello there. Hello there. We've already used up all of our gifts, Samantha. That's how we live, waste and want. Drink all the booze, the next party will have more. That's our philosophy. Didn't reach either of them. Broken straight sword only run time? It's not a weapon. So no. I had to add on to that because I realized you might already know that when you typed that. Did these guys fight me if I didn't start it or am I causing trouble here? Oh hey, when my ember got restored I got more health and st stamina it looks like. What I didn't get back is my Estus flasks. Hopefully that will be soon. Ideally. So many god rays in this godless world. Hey, I uh, don't like dogs in these games. Sometimes they just bark at you, sometimes they leap immediately. It's always nerve wracking. Can I be Samantha too? Absolutely. Welcome to Samantha, Samantha. I hope you enjoy being part of Samantha, Samantha. Yeah, you're one glorious hole. Broken straight sword is a weapon. Oh, you're right. I was thinking of the, my bad, the the missing bonfire sword, whatever the other one was called. I got my adjectives fucked up. My mistake. That's definitely where I am going. And probably where I should go because, you know. Estus flasks. But what's over here first? Let's touch a bloodstain and find out. Oh, hey. Bloodstain made me look around. Wait, you guys don't get up and fight. Who were they fighting then? Ember. Ah. Rewards for the explorers. Whoa. Cool. I just came from there. I mean, they buried me in the ground with a bunch of bombs, so not sure how they felt about me, but man, good times. Some great parties in there. I've swung from so many chandeliers in their ballroom. <laughs> Johnny party seed. Why are you walking and not running? Just in case something jumps me around here, I want to have my stamina. Oh, there's a guy up there. And there's a lot of blood stains here. I want to touch the other one. Yeah, none of them are going over the edge. You're pretty dangerous, aren't you? Um. Why aren't there any player messages, though? East-West shield? Wooden shield decorated with the ancient symbol of the two-headed eagle, close to a small shield in size. Wooden shields are light, manageable, and offer relatively high magic absorption. It's parry, repel an attack with the right time to follow up with a critical hit. Works well equipped in either hand. Okay. And parry is that. I'm not the best parrier or anything, but I like having the option. Hello. Okay, yeah, you're, like, aware of me. I'm like, the... That's a katana, and you are a master of the blade. All right. This sucks. Holy sh... Hopefully others will learn from my bloodstain what I didn't learn from anybody else's bloodstain. How far forward are my... Uh... Souls going to be... I had to get past both runes and blood echoes for that. Hey, we can do this now at least. 
Titanite Shard. Take a quick look at the items I've picked up recently. Gain Strength of Flame, boosting HP until death. No one kindled can ever truly claim the embers that burn within a champion's bosom, which is precisely what makes their yearning for warmth so keen. Gain the Strength of Flame, increase max HP until death. With the Strength of Fire, the summoning signs of unkindled become uh, visible, and seekers of embers can be summoned to join in cooperation. But beware, the embers may also attract invaders. Return to last bonfire, or to the shrine, without losing... I assume this means without losing my souls. Yes. Bonfires are sustained by bones of the undead. They must smell great. In rare cases, their previous owner's strong urge to seek bonfires enchants their bones with a homeward instinct. Fun. What fun? Make sure to grab your blood runes before you die again. Come here. Be back as well. Isn't everybody just back? Except for Gundir, thankfully. Did you have a bonfire right here I never touched? I guess it made me go back and get the item, which isn't a bad thing, but... Why does my skin look like that? Is that the line I roll down my arm across one shoulder to my other hip? In the dirt? Is that from rolling on the dirt once? Oh, it's gone now. Is that from rolling in dirt? I think we need wet dirt. Shit. Pardon me. Pardon me, everyone. I just need some souls, and then I'll get out of your hair. Come here, you. We'll come back for now when we're at a more party appropriate level. Are those dark patches body hair? No, actually. I forgot to look at body hair and we are hairless. Hairless from the neck down. Let me out of here. Poor. Poor. This looks like a real party place. This looks I think God. Think of the parties you could have in here. She looks ready to party. <laughs> May I give you a very good tip? No, thank you. Welcome to the bonfire, unkindled one. Bonfire is a good name for a club. I tend to the flame and tend to thee. The lords have left their thrones and must be delivered to them. To this end, I am at thy side. So, the flame might lose its connection. Don't know quite that. I, I, the flame's gonna go out. I'm gonna guess that's what that means. And so the lords have awakened. And you're saying we should go put all the lords back in their grave so that the flame can go out? We're starting on interpreting the plot early which may be the same as starting on misinterpreting the plot early, but I'm making an attempt. Give me credit. Ashen One, to be unkindled is to be a vessel for souls. Sovereignless souls will become thy strength. I will show thee how. Ashen One, bring me souls plucked from their vessels. Aerodynamic. You found her, your waifu. Getting tired? Good whenever, anybody. I'm heading out. Thanks for hanging out. Lay the classes. Sleep well. Sweet dreams. Have a good one, friend. Oh, message will make sense later. The boiling Estus sounds like a killer pub. It does. Ashen one. Sovereign. I'm sh Ashen one. Very well. Then touch the darkness within me. I didn't know it was that kind of party. We could just dance. But whatever you're into. Um, I have no idea what to do. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flames no clue. Thee. I'm going to turn her voice up a bit. Um, maybe just getting some health would be a good bet. Oh, great, the sword. So this is the shrine then. And now we can save here and teleport here. 
I must have spent a lot of time here. I did think this looked familiar. I. Who the fuck? God damn it. Jump! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Missed it by like one fucking foot. Always level figure? That might be what I start with, so I don't know what else to get. Hey. Are you like the DJ up here? All that unkindled, and a seeker of lords. I am Ludlith of Corland. Look not in bewilderment, as I say. I linked the fire long ago, becoming the Lord of Cinder. What? If substantiation be thy one. Am I supposed to send this one back to their grave? Upon my child calls. It feels unfair. This sad cadaver. No need to be coy. Have a closer look. You appear not to have legs, and the rest of you doesn't look in great condition, yeah. Pretty cool crown, though. No style of our purpose. Five thrones will take five lords as kindling for the linking of the fire. I was misinterpreting. I had it backwards. We are trying to kindle the fire. Okay. Now I'm on the, the right path, though. Of the first linking of the fire. So it is. I became a lord of Cinder. I may be but small, but I will die a colossus. That's the DJ of the club, Hydro? That's what I thought. There's a channel, Arc Cider Highlights. Is that yours too? That is mine. Are you going to post highlights from DS3? Probably eventually, but I'm way behind on highlights. They take me a long time to make, and I like making them myself. So. Uh, there's still some Elden Ring first playthrough highlights to come. I'm starting to edit, and so in the near future, I'm hoping to also post one uh, or two videos every week, and the new one will be Tears of the Kingdom highlights. When Elden Ring highlights finish, I'm thinking of doing, I'm not sure, I've got a lot, Sekiro, Elden Ring Randomizer, Bloodborne, Alien Isolation, Subnautica. There's a bunch I'm interested in working on. I don't know what I'll do next. No style of our purpose. Okay. I may be but small. Okay, so they're, they're like a medieval historical reenactment thing is what they got going on. It's kind of nerdy, but that's fine. Nerds are cool. I'm down with it. it sounds It's still a party. Still a party. Hello. Oh, hello, hello. You must be the blacksmith, and you are uh, the magic vendor. A pleasure to make thine acquaintance, Ashen One. I am but a humble handmaid of the shrine. Weapons, armor, trinkets, and spells. I've lots of little things to ease the burden of a weary traveler. And yes, I'm undead too, but not so charitable as to give my goods away. I get it. Ashen One, fetch souls and bring them to me. As is thy want? No. <laughs> Everyone wants souls. Souls for every merchant, souls for leveling, souls make the world go round. Okay, you look like more of a general merchant. Talisman? For casting miracles of the gods. Once a very common item among the ranks of the old way of white. Equip a talisman or sacred charm? Yes, yes, yes. Skill unfaltering prayer. Temporarily increase poise while casting miracles, preventing enemy attacks from interrupting prayer. Works while equipped in either hand. Neat. Dagger, short sword, scimitar, albert, sorcerer's staff, a torch. D, E, C. So short sword's a little bit more strength. Can I compare this to what I have, just out of curiosity? Help. Okay. Switch. This is what I have equipped, right? So 116 compared to 99 plus 10, 110. 109, rather. Hey, Doug, here's my life's savings. Don't spend them all at once. Big sword, little man. Thank you so much for the $5. I appreciate that immensely. It's very kind of you. I will save it up. I will only spend the interest. I will live off of it. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, we don't need to read all these. I was just sort of curious what you sold. Repair powder. Intriguing. Reduce poison buildup with purple moss clump. Mark a path. And we got armor down here. Fashion one. Be sure to break one. And actually, what do you have in your talk dialogue? I'm not sure I selected ah, that. How? Ashen one. If my wares are not to thy satisfaction, bring me umbral ash. Okay. With ash, I'll fashion new wares. Gotcha. Is it not our sorry fate to sup on death? <laughs> This is the retired dancer. Oh, I'm glad the club still welcomes her. I hope she gets in for free. That's awesome. Ashen one, be sure to bring more. Wish talismans were an Elden Ring. Yeah, this is definitely the blacksmith. I remember this guy now, of course. Saint isn't the blacksmith always. I'll give that a good positivity. Positivity, yeah. Well, a newcomer, I see. Got big eyes. I serve at this shrine as a humble smith forging weapons. You're in search of the Lords of Sindhu, I trust. Hell yeah. A toilsome journey, I'd wager. You'll require good arms. I can got him. Let me smith your weapons. Oh, that's what you meant. Smith. Such is my purpose. Reinforce infuse. I get you. I remember that. A lot Estus. Okay. I mean, we don't use any magic right now. Reinforce. No Estus shard. Weapons and protection are sturdy enough by and large. But when overused, they'll eventually break. When their durability is low, repair becomes a necessity. Use a powder. Or simply rest I remember durability being a huge problem in either Dark Souls 2 or 3, and I have no idea which. And I know I'm hoping it's not 3. They take no pleasure in breaking, I see. So the bouncer right there. Is that the Black Press from DS1? Yep, yeah. You played DS1, right? Yes, I did. Blacksmith sounds like TikTok from Return to Oz. Oh shit. Straight forward. Wait, is this what he said before? Infusion is a more okay. Reinforcement okay. The stones. Gotcha. After all. Gotcha. Your weapons are your own. Hurrah. Ma, another matter. Oh, you do have more. Infusing weapons with gems requires a special kind of coal. My humble coals won't be any use infusing more unusual gems. I know. It's an awful shame, but it's all I have. Oh, please don't give me that look. Believe it or not, I'm quite thin-skinned. <laughs> He's a jokester, too. Oh, by the way, if you find any Estus shards, bring them here. I bet he's got a tight five. He does on stage at the club sometimes. It's not great, but it's not bad. And everybody there loves him, so they let him. And they'll always stay with you. Why not treat them well? Huh? Alright, are we out now? Weapons and when oh when they so He's repeating himself now. We're good. Be careful. We're good. We can go down too. This place is pretty big. How big was the round table hole? This is, well, not necessarily bigger than the round table friend ahead. Maybe later? Must be later. I'm sure there's a million people to add to this place. Part of the reason it's the size it is. As I meet them. That'll be for later. Uh, this goes back up where I just was. Yeah, okay. Let's check the other wing down here real quick. Think we found our new drinking buddy. What's up, Diamond? Good to see you. Heard this game's a cakewalk. Probably depends on your skills and your build. For some people it'll be easy, for some it'll be hard. For many people it will be something in between. 
The Johnny Party Seed, yeah. Real name, Pudding Skin, but everybody knows him as Johnny Party Seed. Where's the bar in this club? You know, that is a good point. Where is the bar in this club? Where are they serving? You the bartender? What's up? Who are you? I walked right by you earlier. Ah, another one roused from the sleep of death. Well, you're not alone. We unkindled are worthless. Can't even die right. <laughs> Gives me conniptions. And they'd have us. Bartender's a bit dour. Return them to their molding thrones. But we're talking true legends with the metal to link the fire. We're not fit to lick their boots. You know, he's just having a tough time. He's usually not this down, but his girlfriend just left him. <laughs> and his girlfriend is... I've forgotten her name. Did she give us her name? Anyway, they both work in the club and he has to see her all the time and it brings him down. I imagine. I've not asked anybody if any of this is true, but you're, you're the you're the club owner, you're the bartender, you're the DJ. We've got the retired dancer, we've got the bouncer and our drinking buddy over there. We haven't asked any of them any of this stuff, but Johnny Party Seed is certain this is true. What a sick joke. Asking us to seek the Lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. We're talking true legends, those who would link the fire. We're not fit to lick their boots. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, he seems out of dialogue. I have a feeling most of the patrons here are gonna be sad drunks, I bet you're right. Any Souls game is at least a year of playtime for me. More accurately, he left his girlfriends. Plural. One quick check all the way. Where do you go? Oh, okay. One quick check around the thrones up here, and I think we'll have walked everywhere in here. Watchers of the Abyss. That say read. I thought it said read everything. Uh, Yorm the Giant for the size. Yep, of the Profaned Capital. I remember him from the video. All right, Yorm the Giant of the Profaned Capital. Watchers of the Abyss. Holy King Lothric, last hope of his line. These are the acts going on tonight. This is the, the shows this weekend. Ludlith the Exiled. And St. Aldrich of the Deep, who's got something spread over there. Some wet cloth spread over their throne. Interesting. Are all the others in a different style? Oh, wait, they actually are. Huh. Intriguing. So. I guess we'll just take Vigor for now and then figure out where to go. Produce the coiled sword at the bonfire. The Mark of Ash will guide thee to the land of the Lords. To Lothric. Where the homes of the lords converge. So that's like the late night bus? Okay. Very well. Then touch the darkness with You're getting a bad ending or something? I have no idea. It's way too early to know about endings. You also have a drunk guy in the hallway trying to fight you with a katana, and at this point I've decided to just let him be, and he can sober up. Done and done. May the flames guide thee. What weapon art do you have on yours? Shit. Warcry. Spirited Warcry, the temporarily boosts attack and enables a special consecutive strong attack. I would need to two-hand this to do that, right? Let's try that outside of the club sometime later. The way she was talking, will this take me where I need to go? Travel, attune spell, organized storage box. Burn undead bone shard. What is that an item I've got here? Homeward bone. Oh, 
Okay. We don't know what that does yet. Got it. Hey, this does take me on. The High Wall of Lothric. Away we go. Yes, probably. Getting a bad ending. Is the best lootable clothes? The flames have really guided that skin tone, huh? Well, the Katarinans are known for their orange skin and their party ways. We've got more party ways than the average Katarinan. We should have more orange skin. Pleasant. Hey. Wait, do I recognize those bridges? Didn't I just get thrown out of here? I think on the other side of the city? I'm pretty sure the bouncers here know my face. I don't think I'm welcome. I love your videos. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. And the flames guide thee. Sleep talk. Oh, hello. Hello. There's no way you're dead. There's no fucking way. What is this face? Looks like Nigel Thornberry. Dude, they rented a castle for this shindig. Hello. I mean, I don't see a dragon's body in this direction. So we'll start in this direction. Are you guys gonna fight? No? You sure as shit are, okay. Got him. Wish that had done a bit more. That was a little close on timing. The physics on these enemies is very odd. Yes, you please for- oh shit, I'm being shot from behind. Slow on that, really? Stop bouncing away. Can I go get to that person? Shh, I thought they couldn't see me in that direction. Fuck off. Damn, that was supposed to do way more. A week. Dead as a doornail. Past fist run? Clearly not. When you party as hard as Johnny Party Seed parties, you do have to know a little bit of fighting. I mean, you prefer not to. Every fight Johnny Party Seed has, he's the guy who's like beating the shit out of someone while going like, "Hey, come on, buddy. Hey, let's be friends. Hey, let's talk this out." While breaking their nose. I'm not saying everything about him is likable. Put on some pants or something? I don't think I have any pants yet. Actually, I am wearing what they consider leg wear, not pants though. No. Stop. That. Oh, you guys are gonna get up. Oh, hey. oh the party's turning bad. Oh shit, why'd I get stuck on this side of him? Fuck, I can't even climb up this. Love seeing your viewer count get higher each week. I mean, I don't dislike it. Thank you all so much for being here. Hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. 
Find you through shorts, so glad I caught you live. I'm glad you like the shorts. It's good to have you here. Refreshing to see someone play as if it's the first time. I love your content. I hope the best for you, sir. So far, I recognized the shrine, but it took a surprising amount of time. I had to be standing in the center before I was like, oh, these thrones, right. And the, the people at the shrine? Well, two of them. But like I said, I remember what some bosses look like. Like, I vaguely remember the Sister Frida fight, and then I remember what Gale, the ending boss, looked like. Dancer. We should end up similar to the Bloodborne run. Almost like an 80% first run, I hope. Because my memory's so shit. I kind of, like, don't want to deal with this thing. But I think I'll probably have to. Treasure ahead. Did I already go back and get this? I think I did a second ago. Uh, I think we have to deal with this. There's no backstabbing you, huh? I wasn't able to roll in time, I think. I was mashing it. It didn't give me my roll. What's up, Shoujo? Good to see you. Happy Sunday, friend. Shoujo, how was your afternoon? Did everything go well? You sounded very exciting. I hope you had a fantastic experience. First time, it is my second, but I have a shit memory and I've forgotten most of the game. So it's going to be fairly fresh. What abomination do we make for this game? This is Johnny Party Seed. Their real name is Pudding Skin, but they're a serious party animal. See? Look at how happy they are. Johnny Party Seed. Long time viewer, first time I cut your stream. Thanks for the entertainment. You're very welcome. Thanks so much for watching it. I'm glad you enjoy it. Uh, where's that bastard with the axe coming from? Is that you? I don't want to get the dogs involved, but I just realized I have no idea what's behind me here. Yeah, we got lucky there was no one down here. Are you alive? What is down here? Soul of a deserted core. Ah, you are alive! Got him. Got him. It went great. Fan fucking tastic. Got complimented for how I still was, uh, or how I, still I was, even with the blackout over vertebra. I thrive on praise. That is wonderful. I'm sure it's going to look incredible. Try fire next time. I do have some fire bombs. Hey, bud. All right, I can't just hit jump. Let's take care of the dogs first, then. Oh, backing up would take enough space. Heard that. Okay, don't die to the fucking dogs, Hydro. I haven't been keeping track. What is that? One to the Crystal Lizard at the start. One to Katana Man. One to the big wormy undead on the other, like, parapet. I don't know the words for medieval castles. And one to the dog. We're at four. Love the stagger on the stick. Stagger is one of the most powerful tools in these games I've found. Thank you, you're welcome. Oh wait, that was uh, Fobby posting that? Well, you deserve every, every praise. I do not like how you do that. At all. Really kills the party vibes and I can't believe I forgot about you. Can't believe I forgot about you. Damn it. So far, what I'm noticing after getting really used to Elden Ring is enemies in this game are put in the most annoying and awkward places. Not even like, oh, they're all hidden around corners. <laughs> but just really fucking annoying locations. Did that guy see me? I don't know what the axe guy is doing. I was waiting for him to come around. 
Why are dogs always so OP? They're low health, but they're fast and they fucking hurt. That. I hit roll. All right, come on up here. That was different than what I thought you'd do. Got him. You know, I haven't used the shield once. Let's see how much more damage I do two-handing. Johnny should be great with dogs. There's dogs at every good party. Johnny's usually fantastic with animals. He's always getting the dogs, farm animals, whatever's around. He's getting them beers. They don't bite, I swear. <laughs> Finally able to catch a stream. What's up, Zach? Good to see you. Happy Sunday, friend. Okay. That hurt a lot. I need to get away from you for a second and heal. To do it again. And I would love to war cry if I can. I did not mean to wake you up. You're dead. Shit. Is this the end? Two handing made a big difference. He's way too fucking loud. Titanite Shard and Ember seems like excellent loot, however. Okay. Was that enemy the reason I came over here? I think I know what happened to that blood stain. I don't need to check. Well, we definitely don't go any further this way. Look at those textures. Two hand makes bonkiest of bonks. The issue is they get the zoomies and aren't well enough trained to handle Johnny's vibes. Johnny can be a bit much for a regular, you know, family dog, it's true. Okay. I think that was everything over there. I think that was everything down there because that looks like a shortcut, but I've got to come from the other direction. Which unfortunately means we need to head in the direction of the dragon. Screaming was the main reason I straight up avoided those. Fair. What moldy wretch do we have here? We have Johnny Party Seed. Party animal from Katarina. A deprived. You're curious about the class? What warning do you have? Sleep talk. I still don't understand that. Where's my cover if that thing truly is? Awake. I don't have any. Hello? We're good. We're not great. We're great. You're a fighter as well? Let's get rid of you before I forget you exist. Perfect. Is this thing actually dead? There are messages on it. Oh, this thing's actually dead. Hey! I love how they decorated for the party. Okay, that makes me feel better. None of that yelling. Cut it out. We're gonna drown out the music. Everyone's having a good time. Stop! That probably is some place I can go. But what's this first? A lot of chairs in this room. First DS3, my second playthrough. But as a human being, I have very little memory, so... Call it my first and a half playthrough. 
Binoculars. I always love these items. Get this out of here because... We don't have any anymore. We should put my regular fire bombs. These are a different thing. On here in case they're useful. And put the binoculars on here probably forever. It's very slow to look around. Can I zoom in and out or anything? Is that it? That's fair. Um... There's a very weird parallax. Very weird effect from those. But it will help me look at things. Dragon themed party. Came for the content, stayed for the shirts. Welcome to the stream. Look, today, it's an astronaut kitten. Those goop creatures are pretty bad vibes. Manifested, trying to ruin the party. NASCAR's on. Hydro, NASCAR, Hydro. Hang on, I can do what NASCAR does. Shit, obstruction on the track. But that makes the race more interesting, right? Such a good zoom. We got 1.1 magnification binoculars. Ooh! Hmm? Oh, I thought I saw something moving through its horns up there. Gold pine resin is what? Applies lightning to right-hand weapon. Its origins are unknown, although some have speculated that it may in fact be a type of fungal resin. Lightning fungus? Is there anybody in here? There's you. There's you. You're the jump scare. I see you. I see you. I've been to a lot of parties. I'm gonna die. No, not binoculars! <laughs> Fuck! Ah, come on! We hit at the same time there. It's not zoom, it's more like zom. <laughs> Fair. I need light. I give off just the tiniest glow. I need more light. We got a ladder down. This goes right back up to where I was before. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, and down is where we're going. Hey bud, I'll be out there soon, I imagine. Let's go find that connection. Someday we'll find it, the Rampart connection. Party seat of the zombies and me. All of us swinging our clubs. We know that one of us will die here. Hey. What's going on? Are you alright, bud? Okay. That has more range than I think it does. Shit. Circle, circle. What the fuck was that hitbox? Stay chill, Johnny. Stay chill. Oh my god, there's so many over there. We'll go up. I'll deal with the many. Shit, I think they're here to pick their friend up. He's passed out on the next tower! Take him! No one's gonna get in your way! Is it down here? Holy shit! Fuck me! Oh, it's still there. Okay. Um... Let's zoom in on the situation, get a better look. That didn't teach me anything, I'm only more scared now. Hmm. It's not doing anything right now. Does it go after whichever one I go to? Like, if I go up, will it attack up? I 
And then does it go down, or does... And if I go down, it goes down? Yes. And the stairs get hit either way. Okay, I can see what's happening over there, and I can't see what's happening there. So we are... yeah? We are going to try and do the lower run, which means... We don't do anything. Nope. Ah. I'm trying to trigger it on the upper one, and then I'll run the lower one. Fuck, man. Flaming tequila shots are back on the menu! Look until the dragon feels awkward and then go away. Are you angry enough to do a thing yet? Sounds like it. Am I safe over here, or does it have other attacks for this side? I think we're safe, but I'm gonna keep moving. Is it turning? Hello. Fuck. Hello. Fuck. Anyone behind me? You're bigger, fuck. He's going to check on the dragon. Ah, oh, fuck off, dude. Actually, I might run into more enemies. I should kill you. So that you're not chasing me. I need my next bonfire someday. There's an enemy to my left. Both tried to get the drop on each other. That guy's coming back! Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! The party rolls on! Oh, Christ. Um... No, let's rest here, actually. Let's try to decide whether I go back and try that guy now that I could come here when I need to. But let's go ahead and rest. I'll kill the little guys I already killed again. Of course, he's got a faster weapon than me, so it's sort of to be expected. What you got out here? I see someone underneath me. I just barely saw movement in the shadows. And they're not alone. I keep deciding to attack the same time as these guys. And I have the slower weapon, so it doesn't fucking work. I kick this down and get more info? No. No lights allowed down there. But I don't see anyone. Are there any other holes in this I can look through? I see someone. Hey. Can I jump attack you? You're too far forward, right? Shit works. Stamina limitations on that one. Ah, uh, the joys of fire and crisp. Plus a link to Hydro Fighting Plus City Sacks. I can't grab you the link right now. But the highlight video of Plus City Sacks for my first playthrough is the most recent video on my second channel called RX Hydro Highlights. YouTube.com slash at RX Hydro Highlights. Or just search RX Hydro Highlights. For the complete VOD of my randomizer run, I do not know which video it is. It's one of the videos under the live tab on this channel. Wait, I can't go through here. Because it's locked. Not because I'm on the wrong side. And over here they told me be wary of left. Of right. Good thing I checked that again. Hmm. Well done. Nice. Not sure on the link policy if it's like Twitch. Uh, do I have Nightbot set up to delete links? I don't know. I don't know if I do. Yeah, maybe it's best if people don't try, just in case. I'll have to check my link uh, whitelist privileges and stuff like that. Are you telling me about the enemy I can already see?
Or are you talking about in here to the right? I can't, I literally can't tell if I'm seeing something there. I think I'm not. Okay, I don't get what that be wary of right message was about then. But I'm also starting to wonder what I left up on that tower. Because I didn't look around, I just touched the bonfire and came back down. Hmm. Part of me wants to go check the tower. Doesn't look like we go all the way down there, but we're definitely going over to... Over there, I can see enemies. I can see a hanging enemy. Oh, the party's really kicking off over there. We gotta find that place. Hello. Oh. I can't talk with him. Hmm. Must be some kind of party game. You know, they can't talk until they've finished one full drink of every kind of booze we've got at the party. Something like that. Johnny Party Seed plays that game pretty much every party. Not like intentionally, he just downs a whole fucking like glass of everything before he even says a word to people. You gotta get in the right mood, you know? I was too cool to notice explosions happening behind him. I guess I am because I have no idea what you're talking about unless you mean the dragon, which I ran away from. Oh, or the guy that threw the bomb over my head. I made a bet it would go over my head. I'm pretty lucky I was right. That was not a given. So did I reach a dead end when I was going to... Wow, you can see a lot of color in the spirits in this game. That's kind of cool. I think that dragon's not going to turn around. I feel pretty safe around it now. An escape room party, that's what it is. Not the dumb thing I said. But well, we don't go this way, so no, it's not a dead end down there. I'm just stupid. What did I miss? The big knight's coming back. So far, I haven't had to deal with him. So far, I don't see a need to deal with him. Oh, I didn't go out here. Hello. Good shit. Were they worshipping the dragon? Hello? There were others that were kneeling and praying, but there weren't dragon bodies around. I didn't notice what they were like cowering before, praying before, though. Maybe it was like some dragon shrine. No, these ones are just praying to other dead. I think like the rest of us, they're all just trying to figure it out. Is there cake? He looks flat to me. I mean, I chose the burliest we could. This is all the cake I think Dark Souls 3 has to offer unmodded. Hydra, when are you going to play MGS 3? Probably at some point, no idea when. But I was enjoying MGS2 more than one, and I've heard 3 is even better, so I'm interested in playing it. Try beating to a pulp. Isn't that always good advice in these games? Isn't it always? But which one of them? I think I know which one now. Who's spiking drinks here? Hot net, and I can't see what's happening. I'm also, yeah, worried about rolling off the roof. I'm glad I did it on that side.
Nearly. I was mashing the button. Where was the next attack? Fuck, now my health sucks. That should have been over earlier. All right, handled at least. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, you were you were the thing on the spike. Were you just a statue? Look at how cleanly its legs broke off, Samantha. That body was either made of stone or absolutely desiccated. I remember you. You're a thing in all the Dark Souls games. I remember you. Come to me. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Johnny wins again. A raw gem. Hello. Now there's a caked up boy. He must be guarding the coats. Very ulcerated tree spirit looking. Copy and paste. They certainly do bring a lot of designs or design elements through. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if the dogs were almost copy and paste from this Elden Ring. I haven't compared side by side, but my memory of them is they look basically identical. Those I don't think are copy and paste, and I don't think they do that often. Hey there. But some things sometimes seem like it, yeah. Oh no, the vibe check is here. What's MGS? Metal Gear Solid. Just tuning in, looking forward to the new game. Does your new character have Vitiligo? My new character is an orange-skinned Katarine. They're a bit mud and blood covered right now. But an orange-skinned Katarine and partier. Who's doing that? I came in here to get away from people shooting me. Oh my god, my health. Oh my god, my health. Um, fuck me. Shit, anyone else? I think we're good now. Getting a lot of Titanite shards. So we can at least upgrade our club or some other weapon when we get back to the club. Hello. So long as we don't die and lose all of our souls. Fuck, I thought you were an item. So long as that doesn't happen. That's death number five. Crap. You have a ranged attack? It's hoping to just avoid you. These guys aren't back, right? Oh, you're back. Wait, is the big one back? Thank God for iframes. Okay, there was one ranged enemy in there who still hasn't come after me, I believe. I think we can leave him. Um, it looks like they could still be there. I think it's the one standing up. I do not want to fight them again. He's standing up. He's not making the noise. We might be safe. Where am I? He's making the noise. I remember you. I remember you. Did I see another body? Where did that body come from? Are they in these jars? No. 
I guess it's just set dressing. Alright, where's the big knight that walks back and forth here? Because I would like to avoid... Perfect. Them too. Go kill that archer. Fuck off! Oh shit, there's that, that's the hanging guy! There's two of them! Thought one would be enough after one killed the first of those two. No reason I should have stopped swinging, I just thought it would be enough. Amazing Zero Deaths playthrough, thank you. Helmet? Did I get a helmet? It was in the jar? This party's off the chain. Oh hey, yeah, I have steel soldier helmets. <laughs> okay. Any of those could be alive. And, uh... Can't see very well. Is this ladder? It does go all the way down. Okay. It's over here. Nice. I think those are the more powerful ones, like the ones I started with. That's great. Let's check the ladder, then. I don't approve of such puerile humor, but Johnny Party Seed loves it. What's up, Damon? Just got here. Why is he bright red? Because he's a Katarinan. Don't you know your lore? They're all brilliantly orange and red partiers. That goes to the really big guy, that path down there. That's why we climbed back up. We're going to go to the just somewhat big guy up here first. Yeah, okay, that's not so bad. I can do the just somewhat big guy. Can I? There's some interesting lag in that. Looked like I just killed him through his shield. I guess he had just lowered it. So he lost the defense value without the animation yet showing it down or something. That was odd. It's his inner joy. Constable Party Seed, is that you? Or did Party Seed enter his stripper phase? A little of column A, a little of column B. Really any job that Johnny Party Seed comes on, uh, takes on, comes with a slash stripper. Ah! Oh, there's my last Estus. Hello? Broadsword? That sounds fun. How do I change my information? Compare details with R? Which is which? Which am I looking at here? Oh, uh... It's showing me I do 108 plus 13, and I'd be going to 117 plus 15, if I'm reading that right. It all sounds good. A large sweeping attack makes this effective against crowds. It's prone to deflection from walls or narrow spaces. Stance. While in stance, use normal attack to break a foe's guard from below. Strong attack to slash upwards with a forward lunge. Block break doesn't sound like a bad thing. Can I use this two-handed? Good. Stuff. Cool. Ashen One or Sun-Dried? 
His resume is definitely posted on Craigslist. It's an uncropped photo of it sitting on a couch, handwritten. And it's the same resume he uses for every job. And he drew on it. Hang on, I saw beams there. Hello, I didn't notice you at first. I did it. Same friend. Jumping off. Right here? Hang on. Can I see first? Oh, this doesn't go all the way to the floor? What's here? There's one enemy. What do we got? We have a dog. We have a guy with an axe. We have... Another guy with an axe? Yep. Guy with a dagger. That's not a dagger. I think that might be an axe too. There's a lot down there. Oh shit. Okay. Um, fun. Can I get the drop on one of them at least? We could try and firebomb a couple of them. I have 16 firebombs. We could definitely firebomb some of them. I need them a little closer than they are. Or less close for the ones underneath me. Come on, come on. Finish your patrols. It's like a bunch of you, too. Just one of you. Show your face. There we are. Come on down! That's probably good. I want to make sure I don't fall off. Wait, hit him! Well, that did fuck all. Oh, so much for the element of surprise. All right. Oh shit, right, I'm out of heals. Where the fuck am I? Okay, it's all connected. Is that guy coming? He is. What the fuck attack was I just doing? I was looking up at my health bar trying to determine what was about to happen, and out of the corner of my eye, I think I started a completely different animation than what I expected. I figured out how to kick then! It's just timing? God damn it. Six, yeah, it's six. God damn it. Awesome seeing you play this again. I was always sad your old VODs got lost. DS3 was always my favorite by far. I've got a few more Elden Ring VODs to upload in the near future when the highlight videos finish, the, finish up my playthrough. But yeah, I've lost a majority of them. Sorry about that. What's up, Canadian Kid Ryan? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Friend, last time my run didn't really work great, but if I mix a roll in like that, am I safer? Did anyone even notice me? I think I'm fine. Damn it. Where was my roll? There. That's not an Estus Flask! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, I'm awake. I'm paying attention. I'm looking at the screen. I'm pressing the buttons. Okay, there's that big knight between... I uh, forgot about the guy shooting. Shooting. There's the big knight. I gotta take you on again. Is the archer trying to catch up with me? Or am I hearing the pitter-patter of little feet just from above?
just caught him in the back of the calf there. The way I ran, hopefully my... Gotta roll into that! Hopefully my souls are just out on the stairs here. Alright, cool. We have at least secured them. Classic kick, death. Classic accidental kick. That they did, it's the rule. DS3 canon event. Starting back at the beginning, but I want to jump in and tell you how much I've been enjoying the Baxter floating through space art at the beginning of the stream. Thank you. Do you mean the newer art I've got, hand-drawn by my friend, or the old pixelated stuff I made? I'm a fan of both, I'm just curious. But I'm glad you like it. Too used to the Elden Ring button layout. I am a bit. That is fucking me up occasionally. And if you'll let me, I'll blame everything on that. That's fine with me. Good deal of whiffs in there. You know what I'm really noticing between this and Elden Ring isn't so much the controls, but just I don't have enough stamina. I felt like I had plenty of stamina in Elden Ring. I'm not sure I ever bought stamina in Elden Ring. I do not feel like I have enough stamina right now. Yes, the newer stuff. Oh, good. I'm so, so pleased with how it came out. I'm glad you like it. No reason not just to finish it off at that point. Uh, can I get you to come up to me? Without your pals. Terrible. Terrible. Timing. I hit roll. Hello there. Nice. Anybody else see me yet? No? Good. Oh, uh, this is the big courtyard, but I'm above it right now, so I shouldn't get the big guy on me. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We're safe. We can go down here. We're not going down here yet. Nothing. Okay, this just looks like another way down. I'd rather deal with you two first. Let's see what else is around here. Honestly, probably go heal up. Get Estus flasks and all that before I take you on. <laughs> another kick! It didn't get me killed this time. But another goddamn kick. Estus shard. For better flasks or more flasks? That was so slow. Samantha, do you have more problem with enemies that attack slowly or quickly? Enemies that just constantly attack quickly are the worst for me. But enemies with a pause... I'm never prepared for. They annoy me more. Nice kick usage, thank you. I gotta say, I do like the new Baxter design. Prefer the old pixelated one better. Again, not saying the new one's bad, just saying I think the old one had more charms, I guess. Oh, I love the new one. I like the old one, like I said. But one of my best friends duh, drew the new one for me in the stars. And as he's got time, and I've got money, I'm gonna have him do, you know, like event specific ones for, I don't know, Pride Holidays. Selkie! I bet I know where that goes. I just need to remember where it is. The bottom of the tower. The bottom of the tower. I need to go by the giant transformed man. Hmm. Absolutely quick, definitely quickly. Who just did that? Oh, you could see me through that doorway? I wasn't paying enough attention. Can I get by this guy without issue? Yes, I can. Apparently it won't be a problem at all. Easy game. The dagger flailing AI they have in every game is the worst. Use the old one for retro style games since it's pixely. 
Are you the ranged attacker over there? Who shot me in the back once? I. You have two! Oh, I don't want to fight this guy. He's a goddamn ninja. Ah! Thank you. I hope the enemy upstairs is stuck, because I want to go find where I use this key, but I'm afraid he's going to come down any time now. There's one of you over here. And then the cell is... Are there any more enemies down here before the cell? No, correct? No. This is what I assume the key is for? Hey, there you are! Let's go fill your cup up, friend. Aren't you one of the kids from Nightmare Before Christmas? Ah. You're no jailer, are you? No, no, you're from far away. And judging by the bell, you must be some of that unkindled ash. That's right. Remarkable. If that's true, then I have a favor to ask. Shoot! Below the high wall is a musty little town. Not the home of any lord. Just a, a very old settlement of undead. An old woman, Loretta, lives there. Please, give her this ring. I, I'm not asking for charity. In fact, in fact, if you do this for me, I'll be sure to repay you in kind. I, I may be a petty thief, but I've more wits than most royalty. What do you say then? Huh? Absolutely. Unless I get so drunk I forget I have the ring in my pocket, or maybe I eat it. Absolutely. Very well. I humbly place my faith in you. I am Grey Rat of the Undead Settlement, and I promise to assist you. Give this ring to old Loretta at the base of the high wall. Do your part, and I'll do mine. Okay, so I wrote down... I need to work on my handwriting. Settlement of Undead, ring to Loretta for Grey Rat, base of the high wall, blue tearstone ring. Oh, this actually does something. Increased damage absorption when HP is low. A ring set with a large rare tear stone jewel temporarily boosts damage absorption when HP is low. The stone is said to be a tear of sorrow of the goddess Ketha, and of course, tears are always more beautiful near death. Of course. And of course, when someone asks a favor of you, they don't mind you wearing the ring until you deliver it. I don't see it on Johnny's hands. Did we already eat it? Spit it, spit it out, open up. What do you have there? That you're wishing DS3 also had mechanisms to restore your flasks after killing groups of enemies? Yeah, yeah, that was very nice in Elden Ring. Missing that sometimes here. Gray Rat, father of Gray Fox, similarly a master thief in the Elder Scrolls. None of these were like doors, right? This is just a glimpse down to... Oh, I know where that is. Yeah, I've been down there. Um, okay, I would like to get back up to the bonfire now. Just for a second. And I don't really remember who I've left alive around here to stop me from getting there. Another raw gem, just off you. Where's that guy who teleported? Is he inside up here? No, you're the one who's normally here. Let's move before the big guy comes back. Where's... Where's the glitched one? 
All right, never mind. Forget them. We're safe. You're just wearing the ring to not forget you have it, right? Right, right, right. Let's go make our weapon better. Travel. Uh, oh, well, he said she was at the base of the high wall. But we're up on the wall, so we're not near the base yet. Cemetery Vash, Budix Gundir, Firelink Shrine, the club. I think Party Seed thought the blue gem was some kind of candy. It's in his other ring equip slot. Bit of a princely location, if you will. We'll wash it. No one get too upset. He'll wash it. Oh, hey, you moved. Welcome home, Ashen One. Hey. Speak thine heart's desire. My desire is actually to go check with the blacksmith first. Because this weapon doesn't seem bad. I'm sure we'll get a lot of level one upgrade materials. I kind of feel like maybe we should upgrade our weapon. That usually makes a much bigger deal earlier on. Why can't I use the mail breaker? Because it requires 12 decks. Small sword made for thrusting attacks. This hard, edgeless sword can pierce through tough armor and boasts a deadly critical attack. Shield splitter. Aim carefully and attack in a large forward lunge to pierce through enemy shields and inflict damage directly. That reminds me. Before I go ahead and commit a few cheap materials, admittedly, to this thing, what the fuck is the stance thing it does? Okay, that's the break block. The other was an upward lunge. No idea if they're good, but they seem neat. Was Elden Ring your first Souls games? No! I have played Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, Bloodborne, Sekiro, Elden Ring, Hollow Knight, The Surge, Wolong, Neo. There are more that have Souls like mechanics. I'm blanking on them. I played a handful. Have you tried bowing in front of the Firekeeper? I have not tried bowing in front of the Firekeeper. I think we can go ahead and upgrade this weapon. Ah, well met. Tis good to see ye in good health. What needs smithing this day? Reinforce weapon. First, actually, infuse... What's that raw gem do? Infuse is what you use raw gems for. Oh, I'm picking the weapon first. Broadsword. Refined gem. None. Raw gem. Currently, this thing does 132. This will jump at 10 to 142. All the guard absorption goes down. Oh, it doesn't scale. Raw weapons don't scale. Wait, none of them scale. Refined. So this, you would do this instead of getting a weapon that scales off your stats? Interesting. Interesting. I think we'll just reinforce it. Mortal Shell? I have not played Mortal Shell. Death 7? I only have 6 deaths written down. What was my 7th death to? I believe the Broadsword does the same skill in Elden Ring, although it has a different name. Removes scaling, increases base. I uh, increase the broadsword to plus one. How big a difference does this make? I go from 132 to 146. That's more than a 10% damage increase. That's excellent. And once again, from 146 to 154. Wow, that drops off sharply, but it's still a good increase. That uses all my Titanite shards. Oh, we can upgrade shields too. Repair equipment. Everything's apparently fine. Pretty be careful. I don't want to see my work squandered. Do my best. <laughs> um. So, what does this scale most with? This scales most with strength. Yeah, the the arm is strength. The hand is dexterity. So let's get a little strength. Pomegranates, is there any mechanic, whether it's easy to do or hard to do, just yes or no, is there any mechanic to respec in this game? Very well. Then touch the darkness within me. Take nourishment from these sovereignless souls. 
How many levels can I buy? Four. And that makes two, one, one, two. Yeah, fuck it. Put them all in strength. Why the hell not? Ashen one. To I, Ashen. Farewell, Ashen one. Hey, the bartender moved. Where'd the bartender go? Oh, hello. I never saw this. Um, what's going on up here? Was this a safety thing? All right. I guess that's good for newbie party goers, but whoa. What just happened? Yes, yes, very yes. Good respect, don't worry. Cool. Thank you, Samantha. Locked. It's the VIP area. Johnny Party Seed's been to a lot of parties, but he's never been to the VIP area and gotten bottle service and all that. Hmm. It's loading the area. I have an SSD. Wasn't this game made back when computers were made of, like, spit and rocks? Feels like I can do that. <laughs> okay, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> that one time I, like, hit my fucking knee. Maybe, maybe I can't do that. It's one of those things that's really fun to try, though. I'll stop. Is this a reference to Dark Souls 2? And that's pomegranates. Is this a reference to Dark Souls 2? Because Dark Souls 2 is about giants, and giants in that game, I think, look like this, or their, like, bodies look like this or something. I remember touching these things and, like, entering, teleporting or something. No? Ah, fuck. I wonder if I'm misremembering Dark Souls 2 or if that's just a coincidence. Um. Fine. Yes, it is, kinda. Okay. I'll file that under people have different interpretations. Oh yeah, it is. DS2 canon. Stop saying it isn't. Never mind. I'll file that under people argue a lot about it. <laughs> okay. Now where's the bartender? DJ is still there. Um. Oh, hey, Grey Rat. What's going on, friend? Oh, hello, you're back. I'm in one piece. Well, now it's time I do my part. Whatever trinket you need, speak up. Did I get some UV reactive beads? I want a party wearing UV reactive beads. I want a party wearing only UV reactive beads, Grey Rat. You don't sell them, do you? Fair enough. Fair enough. You're like, this is your first playthrough, so this so is the best one. It's my second. I just have a shit memory. I basically remember what some of the ending bosses look like. You sell some of the same stuff she does, and then a whole bunch of new stuff. Interesting. I'm sort of too poor to take advantage right now, but that's cool. Do me a favor and don't forget our promise. Give this ring to old Loretta at the base of the high wall. Glow sticks? I love glow sticks. I know, but it will help me tie up. I bet they're dex weapons, though. 
do me a thing. Okay. Goodbye. And should probably listen to the last things they say. Was the friend over here that guy? No, or at least not he's here. He's not here yet. Where the fuck is the bartender? Oh yeah, Grey Rat, you need a job in the club. What do you want to do in the club, Grey Rat? Think about it. What the fuck? Samantha, don't leave messages like that. I'm not saying you did, I'm just saying. Don't be one of those people. Oh, is that him up there? There's someone to the right of um the big throne. Bartender! I need many drinks. You are not the bartender. You came here from Bloodborne. Hello? Mm. Unkindled, are we? and fast on the trail of the Lord's absconded. Then these red eyes are for you. These drugs? Use them to pillage embers and briefly heighten your strength. Oh, you're the invasion guy. What else are unkindled ashes? You're always trying to fuck up the party and change the vibe. I don't like you. You're the invasion guy. I assume. Yeah. What are those supposed to represent? Like in the game, what the cracked red eye orb? Online play item allows a single invasion of another world. Defeat the host of embers of the world you have invaded to gain the strength of fire. The cracked red orb is far from perfect, it seems, as ring finger Leonard knows all too well. That you? Pillage embers for briefly heightened strength for your duty. What else are unkindled ashes good for? <laughs> you more of a dex or strength guy? Um... I used to be dex. I feel I'm more strength in these games now. I feel I'm, I, I haven't made any uh, like major decisions about what to try and do later because I haven't seen the gear yet, but... Just the vibe here is I feel Johnny Party Seed is probably a strength character. Patron slash drug vendor? Grey Rat's the supplier. Grey Rat sells party favors to those willing to pay. What's up, Carolyn? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Hey, thank you so much for the follows, by the way, today, everyone. I appreciate that. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Good to have you here. How many bosses have you killed yet? One. Gundir. It's going great. DS3 Vare? Yeah, I think so. We still haven't found the bartender. Oh, which reminds me, we told the Grey Rat we should tell you, everyone here needs a job. I think your job can be getting the fuck out. Did I see the bartender? I think I saw a spirit walking around. Get out of here, bartender! I've lost him. Yeah, I saw a spirit like that one down there kneeling by her. Uh, okay, I guess we're not getting drinks right now. Or advancing his plot or whatever. How much does it cost me to get a level? Required souls, 811. Can I get one more before we go out? How much do these things do? You don't tell me. Fifty. Two hundred. Okay, we used a few too many, but it's fine. Let's grab one more point of strength and go back out there. Ideal. Ideal. Why not try halberds and spears? I don't know. Why not? I used a club because they started me with it. I used the sword because they gave it to me and it did more damage than my club. I haven't done all the weapon experimentation I'm going to do yet. Don't worry. We'll get there. Um, oh yeah. Oh no. Uh, oh, it was the Estus Shard, which you deal with, correct? That's what I picked up. 
Ah, well, cost is good to see what uh, souls because reinforce yes yeah number of uses is great careful great 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 travel out to the tower on the wall please favored by Crichton the Wanderer. Wish I could have read more of that. But I have an SSD. Not spitting rocks in my computer. Come on up. Forgot about you. I always forget about you. Where is this person? What? What are you doing? fuck's sake. There we go. So much for that extra Estus. I'm gonna leave that up there, of course. Um... Good shit. There's two down beneath me here, right? I don't want to get scared by him. There's you and the one over the edge. Easy. Okay, and then there's the big one. I wish I'd taken a longer time to look at the arena down here. Where's there like space to fight? It's not a ton anywhere. Let's figure it out. Is the bartender the crestfallen guy? Yes. Honestly, Andre feels more like a bartender. He's in charge of the Estes after all. Maybe. We might have to change jobs later. No one else is down here with us, right? It's just you and me. It's just you and me. Imagine me and you and you and me. You move quick for a big guy. I don't want to be in this little area. You don't have that much fucking health. You're lying with your size. Oh, but you are fast. I hate that. What was the fuck was that? What were those feathers behind me? Let's get out of here. Are you alive? Are you alive? Bartender plus bouncer. Hey, everyone, get your own drinks for a second. I gotta get the riffraff out of here. Who just made a noise? Wasn't you up there. Somebody swung. I think we're okay. I'm jumpy. Standing here for just a second, the wavering heat of the flame and the bodies resting behind it, I was like, wait, are they getting up? What the fuck's happening? <laughs> I'm on a hedge for some reason. None of you have heads, right? Did that guy take all your heads? Holy shit. None of them have heads. Let's go find the party. I hate it here. So sick of you archers. Ah. Target. Thank you. I'd do some tasks for my boss, my dog. Did I miss anything good? Um, I don't think anything major happened, no. We're working our way slowly through the area, but you, like, didn't miss any bosses or anything yet. Hello. 
You, yeah, look like the kind of place they put items. I love items. Ring of Sacrifice. Lose nothing upon death, but the ring breaks. This mystical ring was created in a sacrificial rite of Velka, the goddess of sin. My favorite. Its wearer will lose nothing upon death. I'm pretty sure that uh, Johnny Party Seed has a tattoo of Velka on his right butt. Well, I probably shouldn't say where. A sacrifice is only worth as much as the life it spares. Not going to put that on yet, but good to know. Oh, I can't, like, climb back up from here. Break my fall. Thank you. I didn't miss anything up here, did I? Doesn't look like it. Out of curiosity, what is the statue? Not sure if it's supposed to be anyone specific. I haven't heard enough about anyone and doesn't have any obvious details. Okay. Not sure. All the times I played, never really noticed they were headless. Oh yes, I did save Grey Rat. And he gave me that ring, so I put it on while I'm carrying it. For safekeeping. To uh Loretta. Just thinking that Pudding Skin absolutely prays to uh, Velka. You all headless too? You're not. You alone? <laughs> Shit. Oh my fucking god! Uh, not binoculars, motherfucker! Ah! All right, everyone come in here. I cannot see what's happening. Made it. Alive. All out of juice, but alive. We need to hit up the bar again. Hmm. Ah, I bet money this is the shortcut back to... I remember the place I saw before. Right? Or is it right into some boss's jaws? No, this is going to be the shortcut. Should be an axe guy right through here. Somewhere. Shit. <laughs> I didn't want to find him. I just wanted to know he was there. Oh shit, there's an item. Hey. God, you still take four hits after my strength and weapon upgrades. How close am I to a... Very close, actually. Do I need to fight anyone? Or can I just ignore all of you? Stamina's an issue. We're good. Hey, there it is. Ah, there it is! I can't touch it. <laughs> okay. All right, so. You don't need to be on your own, but you can't be surrounded. I think I have enough for a level. Sorry, I want to be obsessive and just go spend it on one vigor because then I'll be 15, 10, 15, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. And I know I don't open the menu often, but you know. I'll know it's like that. It makes me feel better. Welcome home. Speak very well then to take me. Beautiful. There were three tens between the 15s. My bad. Beautiful. Farewell, Ashen One. 
May the flames guide thee. Thank you. Bartender? Hey, the bartender's back. What a sick joke. Asking us to seek the Lords of Cinder and return them yeah. to talking truth. Okay, bartender doesn't have any new fun stories. Did I mean tower on the wall? I did not. I meant the first one, high wall of Lothric. Let's go back there. You look like the guy from the cover of the game. That person was dressed like the fucking cover of the game. I was level in increments of two. Is that the one that breathed fire on me before? Or the one that, uh... Yeah, it is. I know which way I'm facing now. Okay. Should be able to go down here. Go down here. Get in immediate fucking trouble. These shortcuts are so efficient. You have any idea how long it would usually take me to go get in trouble? God damn it. Are all of that guy's friends going to be hanging out here again? Should I just run past them? Chasing me? Are they all chasing me? What's happening behind me? Yeah, at least one of them's here. I think we've settled down now. All right, what else have we got? One of those turtles. Pilgrims, they called them. It's a bunch of those turtles. Pilgrims, they called them. Okay. They were all facing this direction, right? Uh, that makes sense. <laughs> Don't really understand why From removed leveling up in the bonfire menu and made you go through the loading screens. Seen the VODs? Not long at all. I think he's the ex-bartender and Andre took his job, so he's depressed about it in his new job of hunting Lords of Cinder. This place again. Sure. Maybe it's play from... Uh, maybe it's some place from Dark Souls 1. Hey, you want to come here? I was about to say, I think I hear other footsteps. Bad timing. Also bad timing. There's no good timing. Hi, frames. You're fucking timing! There goes my last Estus. I just got back here from the fucking bonfire. Jesus. Have I picked up any armor yet? No chest armor. No hands? No. No, I haven't. Doesn't really look pleasant in either direction. There's another of the big knights up there. Is there a bonfire in here? There's an NPC in there. Enemy. Saint ahead, but close ranged battle required ahead? Wait, is that bonfire in front of him? No, that's a lantern. I'm gonna lean on the fact they said Saint ahead. A princess demise ahead? I did it? That one is a fuck ton of appraisals and a gold medal. Thanks for hanging out, Batadar. Sleep well, sweet dreams. Have a good one, friendo. Victory. 
Hey. How are you? Ah, the wait has been long, unkindled one. Came as fast as I could. I am Emma, High Priestess of Lothric Castle. Allow me to speak frankly. Go ahead and be frank. Not find the Lords of Cinder here. They really, Frank? Left, gone to their journey homes, converging at the base of this castle. Head to the bottom of the high wall, forge on through the great gate, and raise this banner to proceed. Gotta go to the base of the wall anyway. Small Lothric banner. With the Elden Ring on it. This farewell gift is for you. It is the insignia of an old covenant. If you fear trespassers, dark spirits drawn by the embers, then etch this upon your heart, and the old concord will beckon noble blue sentinels to hunt these foul spirits. Oh, this is the old, like, uh, pact, or, um, I forget the words. I think I remember all the Dark Souls games had these systems, and you could be a member of one of them at a time. Yeah, Bloodborne did too. I don't think I explored these much in my playthroughs, but I remember them existing. Well, thank you so much for that. Could I just ask you one question before I leave? What is going on with that statue behind you? Usually, you know, like, powerful knights and famous warriors are commemorated standing tall and, like, on a horse rearing up or something like that, right? Why did you commemorate whoever that is in the most painful moment of their life seconds before death? Covenants, that rings a bell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Unkindled one, head to the high wall's base. Go through the great gate and raise this banner to proceed. But beware, the dog keeps a close eye on things. The dog? The watchdog of the Boreal Valley. Okay. Unkindled one, go through but the... Do you get that ladder down? It's really hoping for a bonfire, but fine. Let's go fight some of these knights. Let's do this one first, because I think he's set up so I can walk up right behind him. Unless he's got someone watching over his shoulder. No, I think he's set up so I can backstab him. Be wary of head. Did you get more health than the others? What are you doing? Damn it, I can't get to his back now for some reason. I'm gonna die to this man. Late on that last roll. I accept that. Well, good thing my OCD tendencies made me spend my uh, souls already. There must be a bonfire somewhere around here. Must there be? I actually don't know that that's necessarily the case. Feels like there should be. Not this way. This way, and I'm actually going to take a quick check of if there's a convenient second or two to wait for the axe man to move. I don't want you to shoot me while I do that. All right, where's the axe man? It's not that convenient to wait. It's sort of the axe man or the dogs. Take, take your pick. Take your pick between the two of them. Seven, you're right. That is seven. Death eight. I don't think I've missed any, and I've got seven written down. Oh, I'm so bad at this. Okay. I only took one, but fuck. Fuck. 
Best weapon in the game is near you? Cool. No hints, please. Hmm. Pomegranates, does this game have much that you can... I forgot, you need to look under more elevators in the Dark Souls games. Not this one. Then in Elden Ring, right? Uh, does this game have a lot of stuff you can miss and like never go back to? Do you go through some places once or can you revisit most places and items and stuff? What's up, Trouble Monkey? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well, friend. Kind of a qualitative question. People may disagree, but like, yes or no, can you miss much and not get it if you if you miss it? Or is everything... Do you never lock yourself out of things? I would love to get one of these two guys' attention and take them far from their friend. Over here. Keep coming. Holy shit, you are slow. I'm gonna give you one of these. That's not bad. Good enough. Yes, yes, no, not really, no. Okay, so there are some, but a majority of people say no. So there's there's not a lot I can lock myself out of, it sounds like. God, holy shit, didn't mean to roll forward that time. Fuck off. I can do that too, you wanna see? Asshole. Jesus, I've drank so much Estus already. So much. Did I learn to rely too much on regenerating my flasks in Elden Ring? Hey, bud. That's a good start. That's an excellent start. That's a fantastic follow-up. <laughs> okay, do I care to kill the big guy? Is he like guarding anything or is it just sort of a point of pride? Because I can be suckered in by pride. It can absolutely happen. I do really want to kill him. Johnny's just getting lit on the Estus. He needs to slow down. In one? I know I wasn't at full health, but fuck you! In one. Jeez. The follow-up heavy strike and then the stance charging thrust were pretty good, though. I do like them. Eight. I marked it eight. Didn't you get gloves? Did I get gloves? Hey, I did. Lothric Knight Gauntlets. Armor of a celebrated Lothric Knight, strong steel gauntlets if a little scratch. The knight has served as one of the three pillars since ancient times, alongside the press and a good supermarket. I, I don't know. And shares... What? Where's that dog? Okay, let's just put them on and keep going. <laughs> Dickhead. In all fairness, he buffed his weapon. How's that fair? 
Ouch, that blessed blade. Are you saying I'm like a demon or something? I may be a party animal, but... Good shit. Now to spend another one of these to separate you two. Actually, you guys walk far enough apart, I can probably just get your attention naturally here. And save my uh, firebombs. You are red. Now that is profiling. Faster hitting with your shield than I am hitting with my weapon? That was blocked? Shit. If that felt good until suddenly it was all incredibly awkward. Gotta get over the awkwards. You can get a critical after you knock their shield aside. I like that. I will do my best to remember that. Third time's the charm, most definitely. I will top off. Third time's the charm. Because you learn from your previous attempts. You figure out a mixture of... That's not what I meant to do. What I meant to do was just chuck bombs at him constantly. You learn not to get near him eventually. You learn new strategies for the problems you faced in the past. And you overcome. You become refined. Got him. And I still have five firebombs. Lothric Knight Sword. Picked up a couple things, right? Lucerne. DD requires some dexterity. A polearm with a sharp, hard, pronged head that inflicts thrust attacks. The Lucerne is wielded overhead like a hammer or can be swung from the side to break through shields. Spin sweep. Large spinning motion. Utilize momentum to transition into an overhanded strong attack smash. I like the idea. That reminds me, just from the description, of the axe from Bloodborne, which I loved. So... Every time I switch to watching on mobile, I spam emojis because it's fun. I love emojis. Go for it. Okay, you're red and you live a life of excessive debauchery and pray to a goddess of sin. Yeah, you only, you only got the tattoo because he thought it looked cool. Well-crafted straight sword designed for thrusting attacks wielded by the venerable Knights of Lothric. Knights of Lothric with their drakes once crushed anything that threatened their shores. Of course, that was a long, long time ago. And they have stance, same as mine. And this is a high dex requirement. Interesting. Still quite comfy with what we got. What was the damage like on Lucerne? Not that I can wield it, but... That seems very high. That looks nice. Alright, there's a couple of you down here, right? Oh, but lesser ones. Far lesser ones. Stanced his shield out of the way. Wrecked him. More and more knights. None of them with heads. Pog weapon. Thrust damage OP. They're also a cursed undead. No, 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 no. We're good. I'm not a cursed undead. That's a cursed undead. Look at me. I look so much better than them. God. <laughs> I didn't pick this character knowing we were going to be so covered in blood and grime so often. Shit. I tried to do the same thing and stance up and sweep the shield aside. Didn't notice they were attacking. Alright, what's up with you guys? All of you are trying to get up the stairs to the cathedral or whatever, right? Shit. 
sure looks like it. This is where the dog of the Boreal Valley is. Is that how she described? Try Ember. Try... Oh, I forgot that's a mechanic. We have one Estus. Is now when I Ember? Is now? Frost ahead and short try behind? There's nothing else to grab. I guess we should go in. I don't want to go in the center of the run. She could have said more than dog to give me the proper mental image of what awaited me. Vord, Vort of the Boreal Valley? How do you feel about fire, Vort? Okay. Sorry about that. Can we be friends? I was very lucky. Damage seems good, though. Backing up. Is this like frost damage? Get! Oh, get near! This is an easy game. We're gonna one-shot every boss. Every boss. How do I have eight deaths? I got eight deaths between the bosses? That's the part we need to work on. Why do we have so much health? The Ember. Forgot about that mechanic during that fight. The Ember, right. Soul of Boreal Valley Vort. Great. Easy game. Lamal the slow turn with that chin. Puppy, good boy. Rose cosplaying as the crimson chin. I don't know if I trust a dog that had opposable thumbs. And why did they give their dog such a fuck off mace? I did it. Me too, buddy. Rated good. Try behind. That person's telling them to leave. I don't believe in that. Time for fine work. Hell yes. GG, easy win. Well done. Thank you, Samantha. First try on one essence. Uh, S, 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 S. Ah, overworld fatigue. That door needs WD-40. Firelink Shrine. Now then, now then, now then. How do the souls work in this game? Is it like the remembrances? Let's take a look at it first. They get you unique items, right? They always have. But I don't remember who does that shit. Where is it as well? One of the twisted souls steeped in strength. Soul of Vort of the Boreal Valley. One of the twisted souls uh, used to acquire many stole souls or transposed to exact its true strength. Vort served as an outrider knight never far from the Fleeting Dancer. Dancer's one of the ones I remember being hard, and I can remember what they look like. They look like the Bloodhound Knights you see in Elden Ring, but bigger. Do you help me with this soul? Welcome home, Ashen One. Speak thine heart's desire. Heading out, but I'm so stoked to finally catch a stream. Dust will be back. Thanks for hanging out. Have a wonderful day, night, whatever time it is, wherever you are. Friendo. Very well. Then touch the darkness within me. Take nourishment. It's 
not here. Ashen one to solve I'm Ashen. It's the same as normal. Bartender? What a sick asking at all. Same thing. Is that person still up there? No, they left. They got the hint. Maybe you? You're a Lord of Cinder. You know about this shit. Hey, Mr. DJ, put a record on. What have you got? Fret not. My feet are here firmly planted. For I am a lord, and this is my throne. Doesn't seem like it. No style of. Yeah, okay. I'm now, now. Ah, well met, Ashen One. How may I be of service? Purchase. None of these look that special. Where's the cost? Yeah, it's all required souls. You get a special tab of anything? No, you're not the person. Is it you again? Do you do everything? Weapons, repairs, uh, Estus, Lord of Cinder Souls. Who is it? What needs smithing this day? A, f a fucking soul does. Sure doesn't look like it, but I got a refined thing. What's refined to do? So refined changes to... Unlike raw, I don't... Wouldn't... It's... Oh, I see the changes down there. It emphasizes dexterity. That makes sense. Pretty be careful. I was misreading the bottom. First couple times. Ray Rat, I'm pretty sure it's not you, right? Oh, hit hand in one. Sure doesn't look like Ray Rat. Goodbye. Someday the game will give me armor, right? Someday. It sounds like she would give you a cookie if you took her for a walk around the castle. Maybe it's an NPC I don't have yet? That seems a bit odd. Huh. I'm certainly not going to use it yet. Okay, um, let's level. Do I want to try any of these other weapons right now? Lothric Knight Sword is all about stabbing. Right here. Lucerne. Lucerne sounds fun. I only need three decks for it. Oh wait, but I can't upgrade it right now, can I? So it probably wouldn't be on par with this. Yeah, I would need to want it for its move set, which I might. Yeah, I don't have any Titanite shards right now. Maybe we'll leave that. Maybe we'll leave that. Decide on a build yet? Nope. Very well. Then take Let's get a little extra. Is endurance stamina? It is. Let's drop five in that as well. I think five endurance is a good idea. Actually, I could just learn to manage it a little better. Uh, let's wait a little bit longer and see if I just get more used to the amount of endurance I have. Because I'm coming off of Elden Ring where they started you with a ton. Relative to the other games, it seems. Relative to this, at least. That's vitality. That's equip load. Okay. They're in stamina. Attunement is FP. Are they all increasing defenses? Yes, by similar amounts, it seems. Dexterity, of course. Intelligence, of course. Faith. Luck. Attribute governing item discovery, ups bleeding and poison capabilities, also governs resistance to curses. Cool. Part of me is tempted to take some luck. I've never played with, like, luck or arcane or any of those in these games before. Other Souls games, exchanging souls wasn't available from the start. Fuck it, damage. Give me more strength right now. Tired of looking at this menu. May the flames guide thee. Okay. What was that woman's name? I've already forgotten. 
Emma. Emma in the cathedral told me that I would be heading to the base of the wall. I assume that is now after beating Vort. And the base of the wall is where Loretta is. Loretta is. So we're not going to go a lot longer, but let's go see if we can find Loretta. Peer over the cliff and hold up the banner. And that is a dev message. Whoa. Hello there. Cool. Okay. Um, I'm not sure anyone's looking my way or that they could see, given what I've seen of the binoculars in this world, but banner. Hey. Is this a method of transport? Okay, A, they didn't look like they had eyes, and B, I don't think this meets the accessibility requirements for the Americans with Disabilities Act. You need, you need like, a ramp, an elevator, that's... That's not cutting it. Where was the spanner? I'm sure it was folded up on the back side of the shield. This guy's playing DS3 and Elden Ring at the same time. How do you remember all the lore? If you're talking about the shorts and stuff you're seeing, that is my first playthrough of Elden Ring, which I finished last year. I'm just a very slow video editor. I did just finish another playthrough of Elden Ring, a randomizer run as well. If you want to see that, all the VODs are here. Go to the live tab on this channel. But yeah, because I just finished that randomizer run, tonight we have begun a Dark Souls 3 run. Whoa, okay. This area doesn't look very good. I know I was just insulting them, but it would have been nice if they could have carried me a little bit further. Do not like where I've been set down. Not one bit. Imagine you go down there and it's Loretta from Elden Ring. DS3, let's go. I've been pretty excited for this and so far I'm enjoying greatly. There are some little things to get used to after playing Elden Ring for so many hours. But I'm slowly picking it up and I'm enjoying. This game looks better than I remember it looking. There's more geometric detail than I recall. It doesn't have a lot of super fancy effects, but I'm not the biggest fan of those anyway. Oh. Hey. Okay. They're doing my work for me. A door just closed. Okay, you can stop. Stop working. That's plenty, thanks. Hi there. Dude, it's another Bloodborne character. <laughs> Hello? That's the second enemy gets stuck in a wall just tonight. I didn't mod this. <laughs> Seems like a fun time down here. He didn't see it. I missed something or an enemy missed something. I want to see what's over here before we go inside. They got sick of your sass. Oh, hey. I probably could have left him alive, but I got jump scared myself. Alluring skull. Wait, you're not as gray as the others. No, you're dead as well, though. <laughs> However, you're moving. Please, grant me death. Undo my shackles. <laughs> hey. Hey there, little sea turtle. Read message. Friend ahead. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Hey there, little sea turtle. How you doing? Do you want to go hang out at the club? 
I've got a nice club full of pump and music and... Oh. Oh, then it's true. A champion of Ash as I live and breathe. To be in your presence is a great honor. I don't think you can see. I'll just move over here to make it less awkward. Wonder, a pilgrim, as you can see, only... Somehow, I failed to die as was ordained. That was the point of the pilgrimage. Elsewhere. Say, champion of Ash, how does the idea of taking me into your service strike you? I was once a sorcerer. Surely I can be of use. Hell yeah. You can set up the light show at the club, except his service. Oh, I am honored, truly. I should be dead. Yet you have granted me purpose anew. I, Yol of Londor, do solemnly swear myself to you. Hey, yeah. Okay, one thing I noticed on him that I hadn't noticed on any of these guys. Maybe it's just fabric wearing away. Yeah, actually, I can't tell looking at this guy. Uh, it, it almost looked like his shell was made of, like, webs and shit. And I remember Dark Souls 2 had some awful, awful fucking, uh... Not going over there. Awful, awful spiders, but I, th this this game doesn't have any spiders. Pomegranates, this game doesn't have spiders, does it? Two Homeward Bones. Returned only for a minute, goodbye again. Have a fantastic rest of your day, night, or whatever. Rest of your time zone, Nez, good to see you, friend. Sad turtle, happy turtle. The cycle repeats. Cool guy alert. How do you remember the game? I remember some of the bosses, like mainly what they look like. The one I remember best, because she's one of my favorites, as I recall, is um, Sister Frida and whatever the big guy. I think I vaguely remember how she fights. She's got big scythes. She can disappear. But like, like that's the most I remember of any one part. On most other things, I remember what Gale looks like. Stuff like that for a handful of bosses. No spiders. Cool. Imagine the stage is like milk. This game, I'm having a great time. I don't really want to be in here, but I'm enjoying myself. First round made it to. What's up, Aramata? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. If it has, I blocked them from my memory due to trauma. Should I close this? I think I should leave this open so I can run back to the bonfire in case of real emergencies. Oh, hey, here's a bonfire. Perfect. No you ahead? I actually do want to rest here. I forgot there's a difference between touching and resting. Treasure ahead. Doubtful. Oh, hey, that moved everyone back. Uh, how tough a guy are you? Not very tough. And you're giving out free firebombs. I like that about you. Well, that's probably something to stay aware of. Got pants. We've got pants. One spider, but it's a set piece, not alive. Oh, okay. Every game has spiders somewhere in the dark. They're crawling towards you. It would make an outsized difference in my life. If games didn't use spiders as enemies, because especially in fantasy, of course, fantasy, spiders are an incredibly common enemy. Luckily, it's very specific things that bother me about them, so, like, most video game spiders don't bother me. But if they get just a couple of the details right... I would like this item. It seems I'm going to have to desecrate the dead to get this item. So we're just going to down one real quick. Pretend this like a... I always have the binoculars when I think I have my drink ready. Pretend this is a whole party activity and just get this item and get out of here. Perfect. 
We're blameless. We were just partying a bit too hard and didn't realize what we were doing. Partying too hard. Oh, hello. You look like Grey Rat. Okay. Missed getting the drop on you. Have I picked up like a lantern yet and just not noticed? I would love a lantern. Attracts certain types of enemies. Prevents Estus recovery within a limited area. That's for players. Doesn't seem I have one yet. Damn, they didn't settle in right below me either. Okay. Take me over here to the stairs I usually would have gone down. And let's approach from... Are you an enemy? That whiff at the start of that. Charcoal pine bundle. I assume that's fire damage, like the lightning pine bundle thing I got. Close. Okay, we'll go get that later. It's like that! Now try again! Repair powder for free and everything? That jar looked weird. I just had to test that real quick. Another one of you. You alone? You're not. Was that not enough height to do a plunging attack? Fucking hell. What am I hearing? My wife shares your feelings regarding spiders in games. You're not alone. Hope you have a great stream. Syntax, thank you so much for the $5. That's very generous. I appreciate it. It's not uncommon. I've got a number of friends who, to varying degrees, don't like spiders in games, movies, things like that. At least one of them just will not play games with spiders in them, which is fair. And I mean, even Grounded recognized they could appeal to a wider wider array of people by having a slider. You guys, I'm sure most of you have heard about that. Grounded, that like, honey, I shrunk the kids, you're tiny in the backyard. Um, survival and crafting game has, that's a lot. That's a lot. This is just a lot. One of the most dangerous things in it are spiders and they have a slider. Oh. Do you think he'll make me give the ring back? It's not even a key item. Old, discolored human bone with several holes bored into it. A woman's corpse in the undead settlement was found clutching this bone. Her name was Loretta. Clutching it. Okay. Wait, is that better? I don't know if that's better. Than it being hers. Hmm. Armor set later in this game that has a lantern on it, although it doesn't work. Great. Can you summon summarize DS3? I know I've got to kill the Lords of Cinder so that the fire can be allowed to link again. I do not know more than that. So the answer for me is no, I actually can't. Even a DS3 Hydro can't stop breaking jars. Dead guy becomes alive, sets something on fire. Has he not learned his lesson? There's no celestial do with DS3, is there? Guy bonks multiple bosses. May want to clean it. Before I show it to, uh, can I just avoid these people? I'm terrified of trying to avoid them because once it goes wrong, I just get like turbo fucked by lots of enemies at once, right? Can I draw them like one or two at a time? Okay. That helps a lot. 
Only one spider in DS3 that I accept, and that's Quelag's sister. Oh yeah, I forgot about Quelag. Quelag doesn't bother me because... Not for the reason you think Quelag doesn't bother me. It's not... It's... It's because the spider doesn't look super realistic, okay? Throw a firebomb on the barrels. I've got it. Stop hinting. I'll figure some of this out. I'll screw a lot of it up. We're all gonna have a good time. No worries. What's your range like? Hang on, this one's looking at me. Did you just laugh? What in the fuck? Oh, that's what I was hearing before. Tough, but not too tough. When you got quite a smile, and you've already got goggles on, do you want to come to the party? You could go in the foam room. So worth it. I mean, it didn't turn out to be that bad, but that was tense and so worth getting them all. So worth it. Got him. How many embers have I got at this point? Seven. Oh, I thought it was higher than that. We're also embered up right now, but, you know, I'm trying to gauge how often we'll ember up when we die and lose it or whatever. So far, no clue. Oh, I didn't even notice this path before. What's going on over there? This almost looks like a side path. Actually, real quick, seeing as I was just saying I don't notice things, there's an item I missed, and what's this gate over here? Another item I missed. Good. Good, 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 good. It's okay, Mr. Strummer. Simping on Quaylag is okay. Go ahead. Be sus. Get wrecked. That an enemy? That is a bunch of hay. <laughs> ah! Fuck! Okay. Oh, you're armed a bit differently. How long do you take to swing? Way more health than the others have, too. Is that bleed? Now we don't need to find out. The whole world's shaking. Three of them. I think that's all I see over there. I mean, I'm sure there's more, but I think that's all I see. Hello? Mmm, forget you. Is there a way, like, up to that person? Not from, not from here, seemingly. Uh, that looks like a bit of a fall. A bit more than I want to do. So is this the way forward and the other way is the side route? These dead bodies are so bouncy. <laughs> I think that's them, like, getting physics again after having it taken away. After they were, you know, culled to save on resources. 
Um, I came out on, 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 where did I? That bridge over there. I can't tell if they meet up or not. I feel like I'm hearing someone still wailing around here. Wear a bell or something. Don't scare me like that. Still hearing footsteps. They find so many places to hide. That looks like a pile of bodies. Kind of glad I don't have a lantern now. Oh, what a silly goober you just ruthlessly murdered. I think because all the games and stories, spiders have a negative reputation, but unless you live in Australia, most house spiders are harmless, even a bit helpful since they eat other insects. I'm at the point where I can leave house spiders alive. Unless they come down and crawl across the floor and furniture and shit. Stay up on the wall. Know your, know your spot in the house and do your job. Then you can stay. Otherwise, fuck no. Oh, I don't like this. It's definitely an irrational fear. I've never been bitten by a spider, never had a bad experience with a spider. I do think, you know, they're like given a bad rep in stories in like even documentaries. They always have like creepy violin plucking music when they're showing a spider in nature docs. I do think that doesn't help. But I think I mainly picked it up because my brother was arachnophobic and I wanted to be like my older brother. I think I was literally just trying to copy him. And it became real. <laughs> I built it into my head. And now it's the kind of thing where like, it's not that seeing a spider scares me, it's that after seeing a spider for a very long time, I have all these irrational weird thoughts about like, hey, what if the controller in my hands just turned into a spider? How big a spider would be if it was like the same sort of weight and mass of spider as the controller? And my brain knows that won't happen. How could that happen? What kind of quantum every atom has a, a, some chance of just spontaneously turning into a spider horse shit is that but my brain will try to picture it as photorealistically as it can what was that also i never read this banner but first of all Pledge oneself to the Warrior of Sunlight Covenant, an ancient talisman depicting a holy symbol bestowed upon the Warriors of Sunlight, equipped to pledge oneself to the Warrior of Sunlight Covenant. Warriors of Sunlight are brilliantly beaming cooperators who place their golden signatures to help those in need, for it is their duty to deliver a great conquest to their summoner. Pomegranates was Solaire. In, in Dark Souls 1, when you talk to Solaire, is he a member of an order, or is he himself the, like, sun bro? Is there an order at that point, or did he start it? Did that heal me? Or refill Estus or something? I wasn't looking closely enough at the UI to tell. Yes, he was part of an order at that point. Yeah, no, you play spiders. Isn't it so weird to play Dark Souls again without the jump mechanic from Elden Ring? That's one of the biggest weirdnesses. Yeah, that's hard to get used to. Wolf spider moved into my garage and he just chills by the door. As long as I don't try to take out the glass, we're cool. Wouldn't recommend leaving house spiders when you can. If they live long enough, it's possible they lay eggs. One spider's helpful. 500 down the road is a nightmare. I do worry about that, but I've never seen more than like two at a time. And I can't believe I'm getting all their eggs when I'm cleaning, so... A member, okay. All right then. I was going to say that, what did that description say? Thousands of years or something? If he was the first, that tells us we are just as ancient. We are a long way away from that time. But I actually don't know. Pale blue sheepskin parchment featuring an illustration of the moon, symbol of an ancient accord. Members of the Way of Blue are the beneficiaries of an ancient accord. When a dark spirit threatens them, a blue spirit will grant them assistance and help to root out the invader. Summoning takes place automatically while this is equipped. I equip these. 
Here we are. Sure, I'll take that. Don't know when I'll use it, but... And there was something else I wanted to check. Was it under key items? I just wanted to check this banner. Small banner held by Lothric messengers hold up outside the main castle gate to be greeted by an escort. When the high wall appeared, the path to the undead settlement was blocked, The messenger and messengers came bearing this banner. They were sent out with a duty, but had no way of returning. Interesting. Enemy ahead. I think I see him. You're pointing at that. That thing is moving slightly. Do you move slightly? You do not move slightly. Good on ya. Good on ya. Sun symbol looks a lot like the one on Dung Eater. Hey there, red eyes. What kind of weapon are you holding? He was a member, but he made them famous, if I remember correctly. Solaire was a member of the Words of Sunlight. Recall the monument nearby his feet. Uh, first place of the spear? I do not. Oh shit, I did that backwards. I meant to do the rushing attack, but I hit heavy and then skill instead of skill and then heavy. Got lucky that worked out. Whoa! <laughs> pretty good. Entirely luck, but pretty good. Are you a thing? God, I cannot tell which of you is real and which isn't. Can you walk? Slowly. I almost hate to kill such an example of teamwork. We could use these guys in the tug of war competition. We always play big games at the parties, get people out on the lawn. Rolling required. Okay, I don't really want to go off the edge though. Oh, I would like to go along the edge though. Are you good? You're not bad. Is that glass? Oh no, I'm viewing the god rays from the other side. That's why that looks so weird. It looks like they've got glass in those windows. Well, spiders are territorial, so as long as you don't have a communal spider, you should be fine. Yeah, it's corporate team bonding exercises. That's probably Johnny Party Seed's day job, because he's the kind of guy where he would convince you to be really good for it. And for the first two hours, he would be. And then, by hour six, when he won't leave your office, like, holiday celebration, your office cookout, and keeps wanting to play games, you're all trying to figure out how to get out of the park without him noticing. Guys, I took both cornhole sets and I put them up in a square. I've got these awesome rules for four team corn- Guys? Where'd everyone go? What's up? Will you ever play Sekiro? Almost certainly, because I have, and it is my, like... It's right behind Elden Ring and Bloodborne in third place, but so close. I would love to play it again. I have highlights. I will make highlight videos out of. But it will take time, because I'm slow. Someone else just dropped down. No, they didn't. That's just the sound of her spells! This way? Not this way. Oh shit, you did fall down. You've got some fucking poise on you, don't ya? <laughs> don't you indeed. Recommend using an ember for this next part? I'm already embered up. And no hints. Johnny Party Seed works in HR. Johnny Party Seed is exuberant, let's say, and doesn't have the kind of record where HR feels he's a safe hire. No, Johnny Party Seed runs a little business of his own for team building exercises. They can end up being trauma bonding, sure, but it works. Love to stay for longer in chat, but I have to go to sleep. Have a nice stream, I'll watch the VOD later. Thanks for hanging out, Polly Owl. Sleep well, sweet dreams. We're probably going to like the next bonfire, maybe? Sort of depends on where it is. There's a small chance of going backwards. 
Invaded by Mad Dark Spirit Holy Knight Hodrick. Yeah, that's the stream for the night. Let's get out of here. Thanks so much, everyone, for coming. I'm just going to take myself back to... Back to... Where are they? Where are they? I'm going to kick someone out of the party. Where are they? Where's the gate crasher? Do I have to go meet them? Hello? I think I see you. Are you that color? Ways bastards. You healing? Is this a player or an NPC? Because it said Holy Knight, I assumed it was an NPC. It's an NPC, right? Fuck off, am I dead? No, I'm not dead yet. <laughs> I kind of forgot you could parry and that you would do it. Also, you have another heal. Everyone in Elden Ring only has one. Still alive? Fucking hell. I did not take that seriously enough at the start, to be honest with you. Vertebra Shackle. What is that and why did I take it? Vertebra Shackle. I didn't think that would be that annoying. Special bone found by killing in other worlds. A special bone collected by members of the Covenant of Mound Makers discovered in the corpses by their victims. Corpses of their victims. Only one such bone is found in the vertebrae, and the Mound Makers believe it to be a shackle of the gods. In their minds, each victim is another connection, an addition to the family. Intriguing. NPC is good with parries. Oof, damn close. Nice. Yeah, it's nice until you realize I gotta go further, and this guy just fucking saw me. Oh shit, I didn't realize I have Estus. For some reason, I thought I was out. Okay, how many attacks do you have? Fuck off! Now I'm out of Estus. Tight Knight Shard's almost worth the trouble. Almost. Night him up there. Oh, hey! Got him! Fucking got him! Sharp gem. Fun. Where's this go? Okay. Oh, hell yes! Good for me. Anything else around here to worry about? Looks like this all connects down there anyway. Yeah. This just connects right here anyway. Fucking perfect. And then this goes all sorts of directions. Oh no, it doesn't continue this way, I don't think. Right? Yeah, that's a vertical wall. My eyes didn't parse it immediately, I admit. And, uh, well, we'll check if that's locked next time. Let's go ahead and rest here. And wrap up. In fact, uh, so I don't forget, hopefully, to... Well, we're in the Undead Settlement now. Undead Settlement, Dilapidated Bridge. Let's go to the Firelink Shrine. And hopefully I remember to spend my levels the start of next stream before going out and risking them. But we're going to stop there for the evening. Smith, thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Um, I'm going to be on Twitch playing Tears of the Kingdom Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That's twitch.tv slash rx underscore hydro. Sorry, that wasn't the rave portion of the party. I just forgot to alt tab before touching my mouse. Playing Tears of the Kingdom over on Twitch at the same time, starting 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And I'll be back with more Dark Souls 3 next Sunday, I believe, right here on YouTube.com slash at 
our X Hydro. Uh, take care. You're all just an absolute delight. I love each and every one of you. I would let you into the club any night of the week. I'll waive the cover fee if you're a bit light that week. Don't worry about it, okay? You're all invited to the party. Take care of yourselves. Thanks for the stream. Thanks. Great stream. Thank you. Fun stream. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed. You're very welcome. Uh, I hope I see you this week. Whether I do or don't, thanks one more time. And be sure never to... Use a chair the wrong way around. No, Riker does that all the time, and he looks so fucking cool. I have no advice for you, it turns out. Night! <laughs>